All right, we are live. Live? Live. Live. We're live. Now live. It's alive. All right. Okay. Just checking. Volume's good. Hey, I think the yo. picture's good. Uh -oh. How you be doing? Did we free? Oh, there we go. I think. Oh. One of those poses? All right, I should free. Hey, yo. Welcome to the wonderful world of Hungry Heat. I'm not a classically trained chef. What I am is a self-taught home cook. I've studied under several television chefs, have a PhD from university, and a black belt in Google food. I love to cook. The only thing I love more than cooking is this woman right here, the sensational warden. Oh. I love you. Oh, you do. Ooh. We're about to end this live before we begin. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it's not after dark yet. We can't do that. It's almost there. <laughs> Excited about tonight's uh, entree. You. Sure. You're getting a two for tonight a because twofer. somebody's a little twisted mind. Oh, yeah. Stay tuned. And for this that. happened all because we went out to eat a couple of weeks ago mm -hmm. and I saw something at the restaurant. In and we fact, were really tempted, y'all, but we in didn't. In fact, if you look at the Ooh, logo, be careful, baby. I don't want the, um, the thumbnail for today's video. Where I put the label is that exactly what we're making. That's actually a screenshot I captured from their little placard they had on the play on the, uh, the dining room on the dining room on the table when they're <laughs> well, advertising I guess it's it. their dining room. Oh well, yeah. So yeah. But we're doing ours a little bit different because honestly, I don't know what all they put in there, but we're gonna do ours because I've always said there's a right way, a wrong way, and there's Heath's way. Oh yeah. Well, tonight we're doing a Heath's way. That that's that's his reasoning. Anytime I'm like, why, why did you do that? Because that's the way it's done. And I'm like, no, that there, no, your heat way is not still not the correct way. <laughs> I never said correct. I said right. <laughs> not right either. <laughs> well, welcome to the Friday night feast. If you're new here, we go live every Friday night at six thirty Central. And we cook up entrees, maybe a snack. I guess tonight you could always consider the snacks. Yeah. You could make this as a snack. I'm interested. I kind of put up a pre-question. Don't know if y'all saw that. But we, we're going to deep fry these tonight, y'all. So I want to know, how do you fry your fried foods now that you're keto? How do you do it, y'all? And just to to all of our channel members woo woo so channel members i should be getting out the invitation and everything by the end of sunday and then it's going to be next saturday the 16th y'all and we're, honestly we're doing that by a special request yes you so, know who you are yes and i actually they're not here yet but they might be here in a little bit She's but probably working on a project yes i know she'll watch this tomorrow but so it's going to be on the 16th, y'all, the monthly cook-along. So I can't wait. I hope that works for everyone. Um, we'll just do this. And I can tell you right now, if you want a little hint, I'll tell you, this month's is going to be a side. So look forward to that. We're excited. Okay, I'm going to start with reading some comments and what Heath is doing. He is getting started by... Dicing some jalapenos. I'm trying to find ice them too. Ooh, nice. And Shauna actually was the first one here earlier, and she commented, so excited for tonight's live. Woohoo! So excited. Me too. We literally get so excited, I think, ever since we in the last live. Yeah, well, and actually, y'all, I'm already dreaming up what we're making next week. Yes. And she has it on her list of what the, she needs to buy so we can make it. And, and she's already figured out how we're going to plate it, too. Yes. Um, uh -huh. And, uh, sorry, just checking up with me. So, what I think, too, is, um, I, I don't know who, it, let comment if you watched the short that we released on the Empanadas. What did you think of the short? Because I've got an idea for the next Friday's cook the short we're gonna do i think we're gonna have a little fun with it but i'm kind of excited so i see that carrie is here hey carrie 
168 days of no coffee or caffeine. What happens if you lose count? Well, how what happens then? I, I don't know. At this point, because that's like two years, I'd just be like, you're coffee and caffeine free now. Right? Uh, Gary said he had a second person look at the house today. Oh, well, good. And he said, with the grant that I've been using, I was at HEB, the big one yesterday, and getting the last of the items on my list. And when I was telling the meat woman about my journey on carnivore, and she said her husband had severe arthritis. Ooh, I told her about Dr. Barry and his videos on YouTube and how it helped me. And she said it was great to hear how it worked. Well, that's awesome, Carrie. Well, Good hopefully time. she'll take a look. And I don't know, maybe did you let them know about your favorite channel, Hungry Heath? Caden's here. Hey, Caden said hello, Shelly and Heath. I hope everyone had a great week. I can't wait to see how to make shrimp empanadas. Well, yay. Yes, welcome back, Caden. I'm excited. So for the dough, we're going to use fat head dough. And I've already got it pre-sectioned here. I haven't cooked it yet because I'm going to tell you, when you're doing anything with a fat head dough, especially if you're going to fry it up, you got to work fast. So we're going to He's going to first put together the filling, the shrimp filling, get started on the fat head dough. And then we're going to deep fry all of this, y'all. So I'm excited. Patty said, good evening. We'll be multitasking and cleaning out emails while I listen. Well, good going, delete, delete, Patty. Delete, delete, right? Delete, delete, delete. Right. It's crazy. That's the emails are crazy. Select all, delete. Select all, delete. <laughs> right. 22 Cute Cat. Hey, hey. said hi, Shelly, Lord of the Horde Heath, and everyone, Ipanadas tonight. Oh, goodness. You're you're not going to let him live down him being a Lord, aren't you? Because I, I forget half the time. I love you, most too. Most of the time. Uh, Sean is here. Hey, Sean it's said hello, like everyone. Selective amnesia. What? Oh, just like my husband. What? We what are we talking about? We learned from the best. Um, hey, Sean, welcome back. Do you want to do the tomato now? Yeah, go ahead. Put it all in there. And then you got to dice up the shrimp next. We could have done the shrimp in that same container. Well, we're mixing everything in that yeah. one, though. Uh, and cool, the show is starting, isn't it? I'm so excited. And just Jason Keto and more. Hey, Jason. Howdy, said howdy. hello, everyone. How are you doing? And then Sharon's here. You made it. You made it home in time. The how much of the fajitas? Are you gonna be eating on those for like the next four days? How many fajitas did she make? No, she went out to eat. Oh. The plate she showed was just like this massive pile. Uh, so I'm sorry, good. I haven't been kind of busy. I just got off of work. Yeah. Uh, but oh, how exciting! And we so we've been looking. So but the first trip plan so we're going to leave from houston we're going to first our first stop is going to be hope arizona uh, hope. hope arkansas excuse me hope arkansas we're going to meet a special person there for lunch uh laura's going to meet us for lunch on a burger joint and they actually do bunless burgers y'all isn't that awesome and then from there uh, so that's going to be our lunch stop and then we're going to continue on to memphis Memphis, I've kind of the hotel we're going to stay at, or he, you know, we did it together. And so we've got that part already. We haven't booked anything. We've just made it in our Google Doc. And then the next day, then we're going to probably meet some of y'all that are in Nashville area. I figure we can, because Memphis to Nashville is not that far. Maybe we'll meet for some coffee because guess what, y'all? Nashville has Dutch Bros. So I got to get my Dutch bros because after Nashville, there's not going to be any more Dutch bros north of Nashville. So got a Dutch in and I found a Dutch location that actually has a little picnic area, you know, little uh, places where you can sit. And so we're going to do that. And then after that, we hopefully will meet someone for lunch in near Elizabeth or Louisville and anybody else. So if you're in any of these places we're mentioning, again, just send us an email and we'll get you on the list. Another thing you can do for me also, please, if you're anywhere near where we're going, 
and you have good uh, keto friendly restaurants and coffee shops, drop them in the comments or send us, uh, post it in the group. Yes. And then we'll end up in Columbus that evening. And we're thinking we're going to stay near Dublin, Ohio. Uh, so that's a little like burb of, um, of Columbus. So just let me know what y'all think um, about the Dublin area. Cause I found a state bridge. Cause I'm trying to stick with the IHG because we are platinum elite with IHG at least membership has its privileges. We still are. Hopefully we will be by next year, but that's where we're hoping to stay. And if there's a, it looked like a nice little state bridge and it has a full kitchen. So I thought that would be a good place. Y'all tell me, comment down below or whatever. You really like staying at, um, Air, well, you used to anyway, staying at Airbnbs, but here lately, it's cheaper and better um, logistically and everything to go ahead and get in a hotel. Because especially with the air, they want you to clean the whole house really. Not just put the stuff in the uh, washroom, they want you to actually like physically clean. Yeah. And then the, all the, and then the shrimp name. Yeah, but yeah. And, and cause he was like, oh, maybe we'll stay in an Airbnb. And I was like, you know, I feel like this is, we're not having a vacation this year. Next year, that'll be our vacation. And I just feel like we I don't want to, yeah, I, I add that to it as well. And I just feel like I, I don't want to have to clean y'all. I want somebody cleaned up after me. And so to me, it's worth it just to, and I just do a handful. <laughs> It's worth it to me just to have somebody else deal with the laundry, the trash, all of that stuff. And, you know, I don't know. That that was my, then I don't have to worry about all of that. This is the eggs for that. No, I know, but I was going to use it as a trash can. Oh, well, here. So, yes. Um, but and we cheated. The shrimp is already cooked. She bought it frozen. So I haven't been thawing it since this morning. It's peeled, but it still has a tail on it. So that's why I'm fixing to peel right now. Barely begun is here. It hey, said brother. evening all. Hey, Coda, welcome back. And then Shauna said, all ready for the live with my extra large double shot Americano Dutch. That sounds amazing. I didn't know you'd get extra large. Yeah, I thought, well, I had you, to, to, you do me a favor, post a picture of that cup because I want to uh, visualize it against the regular do, large. Or do you? I thought large was the biggest. They have extra large. I, I am so jelly if you get extra large. And yes, I will be bringing the dogs. The dogs will be with us. So that is one thing. Dinner will be okay for meeting anybody for lunch or like a Dutch for coffee. We will have the dogs with us. So it does have to be a pet friendly or dog friendly place so like where we're meeting for lunch they have a patio so and the dogs are welcome there so that makes that perfect um but i know that uh sometimes oh okay okay large cold that it's Yeah. And well, this was still frozen. Wow. Thought
let's see. All right, I think we're back now. I am so sorry, y'all. I don't know what that was. Sorry about that. Ah, uh, that's so annoying that that happened. I am so sorry. Um, we don't have to make a new one, right? They just came back to this one. Yeah, yeah. No, it lets you yeah. on Streamyard. It lets you. That's nice. There. Okay, and they're back. Okay, good. Sorry. Good. Yeah, that was that was annoying. Just all of a sudden. The Psych? internet was like, oh, um, you need I needed a little nap. Is that? Oh, okay. I, I thought it was the tail. Sorry. Um, so, yes, I will have the dogs. And then on, um, so oh, what I was God. saying is if you're meeting us for lunch or like for coffee, we'll have the dogs with us. But then once, if it's dinner and then once we're in Columbus, then we can, you know, leave the dogs at like the at the hotel. We'll just have to go and check on them. But Dublin area, I hope y'all heard that. All right, uh, Rickman's here. Hey, hey Joe. Joe said Happy Horde Friday. Yes. Keith has his summer haircut. Yes. Yes, I gave this him is a cut. My year round. <laughs> right, that's his favorite. But yeah, I gave him a nice cut last week and a good shave as well. I uh, shaved his face, but you see how fast it grows, y'all. So uh, Brenda is here. Hey, Brenda. She said, good evening. Hey, how are you? Oh, there's a couple whole ones. Oh. That one. And then there's one right there. Oh, thank you. Good eye. Mm -hmm. Well, here, grab that and just close the lid. Please. Okay. Well, welcome back, Brenda. And then look at this. Sharon has been a member for two years. Wow, we've had the channel that long? We've had the channel a little longer than that, yeah. Wow. Wow. Well, thank you. I'm sorry. That is so awesome, thank Sharon. Thank you for being such a wonderful, long channel member. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah, now you're good. Carrie said, I should have waited since I put comments before the show and they got, yeah, sometimes StreamYard will cut off comments. I try Is to go in. Or, um, I uh, think it's StreamYard because I go in and that's why sometimes you'll see it'll either say Heath or Shelly will post um, comments. So I try to do that if I see any prior comments. I got an idea, though. Uh-huh. You do the handful because my oh. album corrupt the whole bag. Oh! Sean has been a member for two years as well. She goes, double year member. Woohoo. We love you guys. We love you. I'm we love y'all. I can just use my hand. Oh, yeah. It's in my glove. And don't you want to add some cream cheese to it? Yeah, yeah, but that's what I'm Oops. saying. Since, since don't, I'm, don't put that in there. Since I'm uh, gloved up. But yeah, I like doing the bacon, y'all. Add a little bacon, right? Oh, and the seasoning. Yeah. Make sure I get it all off my hands. Oh, no, no, give me just a little piece, just right here. Oh, bacon. But you've got the raw shrimp. I don't just you can send it on there. Okay. When it's not raw, the bag says cooked. Well, anyways. I'm not my sister. Um. You need a knifey? A spoon. Uh, probably the knife. Probably the one you were using. Oh. So, and we're just going to add some of the cream cheese in here as well. I did take a few bites of it earlier. When I had a piece of sausage, I had a little appetizer before we started. Oh. I've noticed when I start getting a little woozy and my uh, equilibrium is a little jacked up, if I eat something, it starts fixing it. Food is medicine. Right? Here, take that off. Use your finger. Don't cut yourself. There you go. I don't need to eat. Pack it up. And then we should be done now with the cutting board, correct? Yeah. Okay. Well, I figured I'll, I'll mix all this up. And then when I get up, I'll take my gloves off and uh, move the uh, cutting board. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Aren't you going to set these on the cutting board? Oh, uh, yeah. Can, but I, I guess need you need to wash yeah. them off or wash it off. Here, can you get the rest of that? Be careful, though. Turn it. Turn. Yeah. I'll go the whole length of it. There you go. And then, oh, let me get the seasoning. Right, right, right. So we Tell have yeah. our own, oh, sorry, y'all. We have our own chili lime seasoning. Comment below if you have tried the chili lime that we made. Or if you want to. Yeah. And what do you think of the chili lime? So I'm going to give a good tablespoon. Let's be honest, that's more like two. 
but that's okay. You should have used oh. the other one. Oh, you dropped the. Oh, I out. picked it up. And then a little more salt, and then he will keep smashing that all together, right? Yes, Chef. And let's see here. I'll read some more. Oh, wow. Jason has been a member for 10 months. Wow. That's so thank awesome, you, Jason. So and thank glad you for to church us up, too, on your channel. Yeah. Oh. How do I get scared about it more than you do? I don't know. Like, I, I, I live, done that. live life on the edge. Let me see how that looks. And then try to wipe your hands yes, off. Okay, I'm that looks nervous. perfect to me. Gigi's here. Hey, Gigi. She said, good evening, everyone. How are you doing, Gigi? Now I figured I'd take the spoon and scrape my finger. Oh, okay. And Shauna said, no. Well, I'll be at a scrapbooking retreat. Oh, Shauna, I'm sorry. Well, I'm going to be at a cooking retreat. It's so hard to find a date that's just good for everyone, right? But, um... They were telling me, you know, with spring break this month, I think that's made it a little more challenging. Okay. What about your other hand? Definitely want the onion. I mm -hmm. mean, the help, you know. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to use my hand. Or maybe just one hand would have been right. good. Okay. That's good. We got most of it. Okay. So now that that is done... What my wonderful husband is going to do after I guess he washes this off, right? I'm trying to get the other one. Mm -hmm. Then he's going to heat this. So for the fat head dough, it is 12 ounces of mozzarella. And you can use shredded. It'll melt faster if you use shredded. But I just cube it up. And then two ounces of cream cheese. So I try to cube everything the same. And he's going to put this in the uh, microwave for one minute. Let me put this knife. Where's that knife I had? We're done with it, right? Um, yeah. And we're done with the cream cheese, too. Yeah. And then also, I'll need the third cup measuring. Nice. Well, my eyes not working. So here, tell me which one of these you want. I have the way these are stamped, y'all. It's hard for me to pick it out in this. Lighting. I like the other ones better. Okay. It's not the smallest. It's the middle one. Okay. That's why it's easier just to hand you all of them and you give me back what you don't want. So I'm just microwaving that, and then let me see where did my oh there it is. Get my um. Ooh. All right. Um. Oh, Sean said St. Patty's Day feast. Oh, is that the sixteenth? Oh, that'd be neat. Ooh, that'd be really good, actually, wouldn't it? Well, I don't know. Ooh, we're, we're not doing out. anything Irish, right? Uh, Brenda said I fry with beef tallow or lard. Well, that's we're actually using beef tallow tonight, so that's awesome. Rick would say, I fry things either in my cast iron skillet or sometimes the air fryer. See, I've gotten so used to airing the using the air fryer that I have kind of like it took a little bit of trial and error to remember how to cook deep fry method, right? Well, what we found the last time when we did our practice run with this recipe. When we made the empanadas and put them in the tray in the rack or the air fryer, it's to it. Yeah. Again, Another 30. To 15. 30. 30. Um, do, 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 do. And a few times we fried some stuff doing similar. Actually, I think it was, yeah, we, uh, it, it works better in the deep fry. 30. Uh, Carrie said, Sorry, Shelly, didn't have much time, or I would have told about Hungry Horde. Well, that's okay. There's always next time, right? And then we'll put the seasonings up too. Uh, let's see here. Shauna was saying, I was thinking about a fathead dough with peanut butter and jelly inside. Ooh, that sounds really good. 
just Jason Keto and more said, I'll be listening in while I try and figure out tomorrow's truffle recipe. Yum, yum. Why don't you make an empanada truffle? Right? And Karen's here. Hey, Karen, how are you? Everybody talking back and forth, which is amazing. Laura's here. Hey, Laura's. She said, um, hi, guys. I'm super excited to meet y'all next year. Me too, Laura. I I can't wait. That's what we are so excited. This you set up? Yeah. yeah. Done Where's with the that. container for it? That's right there with the that one. Remember? Oh yeah. Um. In fact, on uh, he on his day off, he was spent most of the day just trying to get everything planned out and researching restaurants and hotels. Okay, so now. To the melted, I'm going to add a third cup of coconut flour, and then we can put this back in the freezer. And I just try to spray that out. Oh, okay, that's cheese. Sometimes my hair does uh, have to watch that. We need to get you some hair net. Right? And then I've had this egg sitting out for a couple hours, so you do want your egg at room temperature. Are we going to fix it go back? Uh, maybe this well, just be sitting down is what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, I have to see. It takes a minute to mix this all together, y'all. Always be branded. <laughs> right? Thanks, Sharon. All right, let's see. Here. In fact, I want to make sure I bring this one with us when we go. Oh, yeah. So she can fix it. Oh. Is she in here yet? Yeah, she's been here. All right. Because it's starting to peel on me. I don't know if you need to tell her here. She probably has like some superwoman trick that she does to it. All right, now I'm gonna add the egg, and then my here, here, here for trash. Yeah. Okay, hey, and then I like to bust the yolk, and, and then we start mixing. With the trash then, all right? Yeah. yeah. Um. Okay. Sharon said Dublin is close to where my son lives. Okay. <laughs> oh, dang it. Are you okay over there? No, I don't know. And it's about 45 to 50 minutes north from me. Oh, I know. I was looking that up. As you know, channel members. So if you're interested in being a channel member, not only do you get to have the monthly cook along, but also I send a little welcome package that includes your choice of spice sample and then, you know, a little stickers and that kind of thing. Well, so I have all the channel members address. So that's kind of helpful. And <laughs> so I put in and yeah, I was like, okay, between Matreya and Sharon, y'all, y'all had quite a distance there. So I was trying to find like a place in the middle, which was Grove City. What did we say? It's almost like from us to Lynette, about that same distance. Right. But I was just like, uh, so I was looking at a place at <laughs> Grove City, but then Matreya was like, oh, you don't want to stay at Grove City. So I was like, okay. She's like, danger, danger, danger. Right? And so then I looked, and then that's when I found the Dublin area it has the State Bridge Suites. Um, so it was, it, it is a little challenging with the dogs because with the IHG, I have to make sure that they will accept big dogs because some places that are dog friendly and even, are you okay? Do you no, need a drink? I'm choking on the shrimp. Well, uh, that are dog friendly, even within the IHG family, they'll put a weight limit. And even like at one Candlewood, they'll say no weight limit. And then another one, they'll say 45 pound limit. And one other one said only one dog. Yeah. Or they'll limit it to one dog. So that kind of and narrows. One said we had to have him kennel. Yeah. So that kind of narrows it because I don't. I don't, my dogs aren't crate trained. That's what I'm saying. They're not kennel, but crated. Yeah. They're not crate trained because another place I looked at, they were like, well, if left uh, unattended, they need to be in a crate. And I'm like. Well, that's what I'm wondering. I'm wondering too, though, is do they provide the crate? No. No, you're supposed to do the crate. All right. That, that's Because that basically note. what they're saying is then you don't leave them unattended. Which if we were just staying one night, that wouldn't be a big deal. Like we were just staying, well, even then it'd be hard. Because we're planning on going to leave, dropping them off, halfway unpacking, and we're going to eat dinner and then come back and finish and unpacking. Right. Okay. Really, even one night, we're going to unpack that no. much, anyways. Right. 
All right. Again? Wait, no, wait a second. Okay. I got to start rolling. So this is where we have to work fast, y'all. Um, <laughs> Shauna said, going to be sad to hear this for two years. Oh, sorry. Okay, so get your your uh parchment paper. Oh, I thought you were telling me to get something. I was like, wait, what? No. Wait, wait, don't we put this in the fridge? I mean, you can, yeah. Wait, I don't know if we got room, though. And, well, I'm going to need it once I start rolling right, them out. Well, I'm going to do this thing. Well, uh, okay. Well, no, because it's out of the way. And then we'll right. trade this, and I'll put that one there. Well, we'll be out. I'm going to be using this because as I make them and fill them, right. you know, as Please. we go through. I'm just trying to get I know, Shauna. Maybe, who knows? Maybe in a year. Well, it's about two years. It's just a year well, away. Before she can do anything, though. It's just a year away. But maybe, um, in the meantime. you know, who knows? Maybe in a year's time, maybe you can, it, maybe just a weekend or something. Okay. We're just going to work fast here, y'all. Well, Shauna, you feel bad about it. Look at Jason. He's all the way in another country and can't visit us. I know. And same with Mary T. Yeah. And, uh, what's her name? Uh, Guam. I, know. I can't pronounce her name. I'm sorry. I'm not doing it this slightly. Zenobia. You know, yeah. I just don't want to butcher your name. I'm always, like, especially with my customers. Oh. I'm always worried. And just, I like to get it nice and thin, y'all. Oh, you ready for the thing? You already have it all set up over there, don't you? Yeah. So get it nice and thin. I just figure if I stand over here off, current, uh, off camera, it's actually out of her way. Are you, are you done with this one? Yeah. I'm going to start putting stuff in the go. Make it like a little easier. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to put the parchment paper in there. Okay, so here is the big, big one for okay. the empanada. So what I'm going to do. Oh, don't you want, didn't you say you wanted to uh, get this ready to do the remnants? Well, that's going to be after all okay, of after, the after, Okay, in a moment. Okay, let me kind of put these to the side. So I try to get as many circles as I can. And did you put them, tell them how much you used, how many, uh, how much cheese you used? Yeah, I already said all that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Well, I've been running around doing all those stuff. I was just double checking. And then what I'm going to do, while well, I'm take these scraps in here. Waste not, want not. Right? All right, I'm just trying to work as quickly, quickly as this I can. This stuff sets up really fast and it makes yeah. it work. The quicker you work, the easier it is to, uh, to manipulate the shapes. Yeah. Okay. And then I might be able to get one more here. Mm, close. Yeah. And okay. it is actually easier because this little kit we have is three sizes. Yeah. It's easier if you use the smaller one. <laughs> All right. Just do 30 seconds on that. And then I don't want these really sticking together here. So we've got five so far. All right. See, that's another thing. The reason why I wanted to use the bigger uh, cutting board. Give oh, more room yeah. to lay it out. Um, let's see here. Carrie said, they are so funny with their coffee cups. Sean said, we're about seven hours from Nashville. Depending on where you are doing this, we might be able to meet you. So from Nashville, then we're going to go up through Louisville to Columbus. And we'll be in Columbus, like, I think five, five days in Columbus. And I mentioned it before, but I'm really serious about doing it. You know, like when you see your favorite bands or comedians coming to town and you they put out a tour list of all the cities they're visiting. We're going to be doing that once everything's finalized. And when we do it soon enough, we can also edit that depending on y'all's suggestions also yes to make it easier to meet up with everybody okay do another one and, and then, then that's why we're also doing this so far ahead in advance to give y'all notice as well and while it's hot teamwork makes the dream work right all 
Wow. What? You really get a, a small uh, flat thing yeah. out. You got to. Hmm, this one might be hot enough to fill. Can you open that for me? Was it the this? Yeah. This, since this is still hot, let me go ahead. Where did the spoon go? Right there. So here's the little Ipanata maker. Is, the, is she even here? Yeah, Teresa is the one who got us this wonderful Ipanata maker. No, I love them. using this. What? You gotta go pee? No, I threw away the box. Oh, because y'all, okay. it's very, very hard to put it all back together. It's a three piece, or there's actually like a twelve piece. There's and three different sizes. What you want is about a tablespoon, and then you just push it over. It was really hard to fit it all back into the box, so I found a giant uh, Tupperware container. We just keep them in it now. All right, and let's see. Let me see here. But is this thing so cool? Look at that. The little contraption. I know. It seemed oh. to just... And then I love, too, the way it's pleated around the edges. Because like, like when you've seen it, like when people make homemade pies and they have to do that little, uh, like, lace work. Not really lace, but, you know, they do that little thing where you take the fork and you crimp it to make it all fancified. This automatically does it for you. After we get a couple of these made, I'll pull them over here and show you, too. All right. Try, As I throw it on the table. Try to get one more out of this. And this might be it. Wow. For tonight. So what do we got here? Three, six, seven, eight of them. Oh, it's on this one. And then these will be our little scraps. See how it's all crimped all together? Isn't that awesome? And they're so handy. I don't think last time we've done these, I don't think we came up and showed them to them like this. Okay. And this then, so oops. Amazing. Renee, just keep it out of work. Okay, so now this is what I do. Once these cool, they don't do as well. So I'm done with that. Done, done with it. I'm they don't it do as well to uh, fuse on this. So Heath is going to put this in the microwave 10 seconds. All of you told me 15. Well, I know, but okay, I think 10 is going to be good. We always do more, we can't do less. Right. That's why I didn't bother sitting down. One, it gives me more room, and I'm going to have to keep going back and forth. And then we here's that. Things. We're done? Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, and that's where we were frozen. Frozen, and... You became a Disney movie? And then Mary T said... Hey! She goes, hello, all my favorite Friday night friends. Oh, Quieted you. here tonight. Hey, Mary T, welcome. All right, then you just have to gonna be hot you have to use your chef hands yeah Heath would be like crying right now yes 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 okay so while it's hot it put it in there get a nice tablespoon here and then show him this dude real quick though and then he can do another one for 10 seconds this is the ones we're using y'all and these were actually you got a Kroger right uh yeah Last week, I got them for six ninety seven a pound. It's All a right? thirty two ounce Ten bag. Let me get, let me get, I gotta get back to work. Sorry, I'm visiting too much. Rickwood said, "While we are waiting, folks, hit that like button to get this out to more people." Thank, thank you, you, Joe. Thank that you, is Joe. so. Thank you so much. Yes, y'all on lives, especially the more you comment, the more you make sure you hit. Mm -hmm. Not the more you hit the thumbs up. Just make sure you the hit more that active thumbs you are. up. Yeah, hit the thumbs up as you come in, and then just keep chatting away, and that keeps things going. Uh, Joy TQ Cat said, I'd love to meet Samson and Delilah in person, so I hope it somehow works out while you're up this way in Indiana. Puppy hugs. Right. Oh, they would love it, too. Not to be rude or nothing, but they definitely are attention whores. Oh, yeah. They, Cuddle yes. bugs. Yes, and... It, and I'm going to tell you, whenever we leave, and I, I we're still deciding we're going to leave on a Sunday or our Monday, but when we do leave, we're going to be going straight through Indiana because on the way back, I'm going to visit my co-worker, uh, and she lives um, near Springfield, 10? Missouri. Yes. And so we're, so to go from Columbus to Springfield, Missouri, 
means we'll be going straight through Indi Indianapolis. And so we'll be heading that away. And then we're, we'll be ended up spending the night in Springfield. So I'm hoping to have dinner at, with hopefully my manager and definitely, you know, a coworker too, especially my work sister. And then uh, also when we're at Columbus, I hope to meet my department director. And because one of our big locations is also in Columbus, the company I work for. So I already told one of the coworkers that lives in the Columbus area. And so I'll probably be meeting up with her and maybe even the big director. And who knows, I might even go into the office and get to see the Columbus office. Wouldn't that be fun? It's called East something. I don't know y'all like Columbus, if that makes sense. Aww. Oops, that's all right. And they're just... Now, how many are you going to end up doing for the dessert, though? Um, well, you want me to just do two for dessert? Okay. Or four. <laughs> but, uh, let's see. There you are, and they're back. Woohoo! Yes, we're back. Oh, no, 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 no. Ten seconds. There you are. Yay! Darn internet naps. Just, right, Carrie? I have a bad habit of just hitting the 30-second button. That's what I just did. Laura says you have to stay an extra 30 minutes tonight to make up for it. Okay, Laura, we could do that. I got to work tomorrow, though. Oh. We always do that Southern goodbye, though. So right. We're never, we're never on time. Well, I might be able to get, like, another, because uh, look at all this. We still have yet to use, so I might be able to. Um, well, we can get like a last time more. too and have some of the stuffing left over. Oh, shit. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Monetization, woman. Sorry, y'all. Little Miss Potty Mouth. Not me. Hopefully that one did right. Now, hopefully she'll behave herself when we see us in person. Oh, shoot. Probably not. I, my mouth, it, it, 10 seconds. Okay. Ooh, that one did like a... Blow out on you? A little bit. We'll we'll see how it does. Can you get some of the remnants and kind of fix it? Uh, it doesn't fix as well. All right. Um. Can you empty it and start over, or no? Do you more? want to try to make another couple out of yes. the remnants? Okay. Yes. So we'll do that with these. Well, here. Are oh, you still stuffing them? Never mind. Never mind. I was gonna put the lid on. Because we have got. He's about to make another one, so that'll give us six empanadas. That's what I'm saying. Let's make let's make this whole batch of what you have right here. And then use these for the dessert. Well, that would only probably get us one more. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay. And. Where are you going to do it? Well, here. Let me get this one added to it, too. Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, what's there? Oops. Probably a little too much there. I mean, this is six. Yeah, yeah that's fine. You think that's enough, yeah. or do you want more? I always want more, but I also like having leftovers, so that's fine. Though. Oops. Get a little thing. All right. So do that just for like 15 seconds. But if you want to look, this is how they're turning out so far, y'all. Keep them on this. And let's see here. Hey. We don't know yet. That's what day are you planning on being at Jungle Gems in Cincinnati? Oh, I, oh, is Jungle Gems only in Cincinnati? Is there not one in Columbus? See, see but thank you. That's why I wanted to plan ahead like this. You know what I mean? Right. That's exactly why. Thank you. Oh, and then, oh, no, you can put some youth, duh. Never mind. A little more, or that's going to be good? I'm, I'm going to try. Because yeah. the dough, I have noticed, you can cook it too much. Because you made sure to tell me no more than 15 seconds each time. Well, I'm saying, like, you could recook it too much. Uh -huh. Like, reheat it too much. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see what I could do here. I guess I shouldn't have put the wrong pin, but oh well. I don't get it. Okay, it's yeah. just right here. I remember that's also why I'm up. Carrie I'm said... For today. That's what I used to be when I first started working cabinets. They called me a gopher. Go for this, go for that. My official title was a helper. And they always tell me, all right.
Put those cabinets up the stairs. Seriously, that's what yeah. you said. All right, here we go. Let's see. I'm hoping to get a... Oh, and I need the little cutter. Carrie said, I sell the house before we get into triple digits. Oh, yeah. I don't blame you there. Maybe you'll sell it for triple digits. Uh, right? That'd be amazing. One would hope. Okay. I think that's going to be it, y'all. So, that's four. So, we could do two more. Or do you want four desserts? Or do you want... Just do two. I'd rather have meat than dessert. Okay. So, we'll put well, those... Do we need those for our testers? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to have more. Mm -hmm. You don't need to heat that up. Oh, in fact, take that out because I forgot. We're going to have to heat these up. Okay. Let's put it on the, here. On the lid? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So let me, this, so 10 seconds, please. All right. I hope so. Oh, okay. That's fine. Mary T said, oh my, made a keto chow shake today. Malt keto chow, three oh. tablespoons melted butter, one teaspoon cocoa powder, and a tea tablespoon of almond butter. Wow. That sounds amazing, Mary. Mm. And then, oh, well, let's work one thing at a time. And then I'll bring it up if I remember. <laughs> what? What were you going to say? Well, now we're not going to... um. Hack your health this year, but we are showing up in town. Yeah, we're thinking we're going to be in town the weekend of KetoCon. Probably just Saturday. We'll drop up Saturday morning and leave Saturday night. Okay, 10 more seconds, please. Yeah. Because that's what, three, three and a half hours for us. Yeah. But look how nice those look, y'all. You want to get them closer? If you want, you have to be gentle, though. It's a little pillow. Don't those look so good? Sharon said, chili lime is tasty. Oh, thanks, Sharon. I, I love the chili lime. Because you know how we dehydrate our peppers to make the five spice? Well, we use fresh lime. Slice them up, uh, rind and all, or peel and all, and, and dehydrate those, and then grind them up. Yes. And then since we're doing a chili lime, sometimes we'll even use it in the same con uh, container that we use the, uh, so the that uh, is done. five spice in. So it has a little bit of heat to it also. And you want to lift the spoon for that one? Yeah. Well, I might use it to eat all that. Oh, okay. But you can still lift the spoon. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. And then what I need before we mm -hmm. do the sweet. So we got our blueberry jam. <sighs> The and, yeah. And what I've got here is some brie. And I need another spoon then. So we've got, we're going to do two of these. Which one do you want? Um, Let me do. Well, I'll just wait until you can grab it. That one. Mm -hmm. All right, 10 seconds, please. Oh. So what I'm going to do is this is our homemade blueberry jam, and I am going to get this. I think I added just a little bit too much uh, gelatin to it, but that's It's fine. almost preserves now, right? Well, I mean, it, it is anyways. Well, the thickness. thickness is just, I put too much preserve. So, I'm going to do the dessert one, y'all this on here. You can do the seasoning at the end though, right? When you yeah, pull it yeah. out of the fire. Right. Out of the oil room. Uh. I'm going to put the blueberry jam. So I thought that sounded good. It does. And we sprinkle that in there. I'm going to take a chunk of this double brie and put that on there. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of this smoked Redmond salt. I thought that would be good too. Oh, you're yeah, sweet, really good too. I just thought about it. Those are blueberries, right? Oh, shoot. It tucked in wrong. Oh. Let me see if I can. 
Look Surprise. what I'm going to dust on mine. Nah. Okay. It was and this still, is also another local Houston company we really, really love. It was still hot enough where I could fold it. Ten seconds, please. Okay. That should work. Let me see if I could crimp it anymore. Okay. There we go. I saved it, y'all. Now this you're going to remember which one's which? Yeah, that's where I'm separating. Are we done with the ring now? Yes. And then I'm done with this bowl. Which one, the little guy? Yeah. So We're still again, using the lid, though, I see. Yeah. Let me put the blueberry jam. That in there. And then, can you put the lid on that? This is green one right here? Yeah. Okay. And we're done with it back in the fridge? Mm-hmm. Mm. Where's that container for the um, cheese? Because those should fit in the, both of them. Because... Uh, this is a container we use, y'all, for our cream cheese, but we just put the brie in it because we hadn't opened the cream yet. But look, they all fit together. All right. And then, I like staying organized. All right. And then next, what we're going to do, done with all that, we're going to clean this up, and then we're going to get our hot plate plugged in, and we will start... Oops. With getting all of this starting to fry it up, so put it in the middle drawer, right? Uh, no, no, I no, put no, it I know with the know, know. okay, the bottom drawer here by the stove. And then what I do with these strips? These are going to be my little testers, and I kind of treat them as like almost little, like tortilla strips. Yeah, or sometimes I'll do them sweet, y'all. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm saying just a tortilla strip. So I'm just kind of slicing these up, but this helps me, you know, kind of test the oil. Especially with this hot plate, because we're still learning it. It has a little, uh, what do you call it, a uh, some tendencies. So. And then the oil, or the, yeah, the oil is behind you. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, get that out of my way, please. We're going to try to bring all this Whoops. closer. And then, here, you use this for the lid. Oh, okay. Well, here, well, well, never mind. There. Work. No all right. All right. Give that a few minutes to start heating up for me. I'm a little bit Okay. Well, yeah, it's close enough. What? It needs to go more to the left. This? Or what we could do also like that. What if we turn the thing? Would that be would it get worse for you? I mean, yeah, we could do it like that. If you would rather. I think it's right on camera though. What I'm seeing here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, never mind. I'm overthinking it. Okay, so let's give that a few minutes for that to really start cleaning up. Jump back on the comments. Yeah. So I'm glad that Sharon loves our. Chili lime, and I see keto simple. Hey, hey Dustin bud. said happy Friday. How are you? That's one of the part two. We're gonna, I'm excited about we can finally meet him in person, right? And I see Laura said, I tried it last week on my chicken wings, very tasty, and the smell is amazing. The chili lime, the chili yes. lime. yay! I'm so glad, Thank Laura. You. We, we honestly we welcome your feedback, whether it's good or bad. Yes, it makes it even better when it's good, right? So, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What are you just yeah. fixing it? Yeah, it see it's got a little bit of a hole, so we'll see. The the fry will well, probably go in there. You take some of this and fill it in. No, because it's not hot; it won't stick. I can go, but you would have to microwave this. Oh, that's fine. That as Will said, hey, hey Stacy hey. said hi, everyone. Wanted to stop in and say hi. Well, I'm hello, glad you hello, did. Hello. 
And Keto Simple said, it's been a long day. Went to a funeral that was Aww. really long. Always a drain on the spirit. Right? Oh, I'm so condolences. sorry. Condolences. Yes, condolences. That's hard, Dustin. Uh, Laura said, do you have a date for next March? Yes and no. We have tentatively said. Yeah, we're, so there's some behind the scenes that are working for a meetup on in the Columbus area so that people in Ohio and Indianapolis or Indiana could come to that meetup. So we're, we have to kind of figure out exactly we what. We want to merge the two together. Well, we have to find out yeah. the facility that yes. is in talks, when that will be available. And I'm off Sundays and Tuesdays. So we're trying to debate on if we're leaving on Sunday or a Tuesday to head out. Oh, no, we already decided we Tuesday. Did? Okay. Yeah. No, even earlier you said maybe Monday. No, because if we left, if we, because we already decided okay. if we left on the weekend, a Saturday or Sunday, we'd end up being Columbus only during the week because we would That's have no, to leave yeah. then on a Saturday. No, no, no. So no. Okay. So we'll be leaving on a Tuesday. Okay. So yeah, we'll be in Hope, Arkansas on a Tuesday. So it'd probably be the first Tuesday in March. But again, it's tentative. Because we got to figure out the meetup place when it's uh, available. When that's available, right? Um, Sean said the seventeenth, but close enough, right? So we should we need to wear something lucky, right? Make yeah. sure everybody on the cook along next Friday or next Saturday, rather. Sorry, on the sixteenth, you got to have green on. Um, Sharon said heat. Just put an empty can in there and cover the tape with parchment paper. Use a dry hot iron for about 10 seconds. Oh, thank you. See, that's awesome. I'm Thanks, Sharon. Professional. Thank I you. know. I figured I'd just bring it and you show me. <laughs> Radical Geek Take said hello. Factory. <laughs> yeah, but that's a year away. This way you can fix it. I know. It. Radical Geek is here. Hey. She said hello, all you awesome people. See, hey, Patricia. Why she showed up. Right? We were talking about her. Tweet to QCAT said, hairnet, ha. Huh. Our home economics teacher made us wear hairnets whenever we cooked anything. Also had to wear a dress. Oh, oh wow. Of course, years ago. So funny. Oh, my gosh. I remember taking home ec. I can't remember we had to wear hairnets. Uh, I kind of remember aprons. But, but aren't I you so glad in school they taught us how to square dance? Oh, yeah, that is coming that so handy. handy yeah. Square dancing, learning it in middle school. Right. That was so beneficial to our lives. Not how to do a checkbook or nothing like that. Right, right. right. Don't teach us how to, you know, finances. No. And then Square the always telling us, you're, you're not going to be able to use a calculator later on in life. So you watch me now. <laughs> I know, right? Mary T said, one day I'll make that Saturday cook along. Saturday goes so fast. Seems it's always evening before I know it. Me too. It's really fun for me because I get off work at 530 and then we start at 6. You know what we could do, though? You want to test it? On the cook alongs, we can start doing those at 630. You want to use the little temperature thing? Yeah, we could do it at 6.30. Mom Bear Lynette. Hey, Lynette. She goes, I finally made, I'm finally here. I made it. What a day. It's been super busy time of year for me. I'm so excited to spend 30 minutes with you guys before I head off to bed. Tomorrow's another work day, girl. Do you want to test? You. Do you want to use one of these? You want to eat the good one? I, it's on the barbecue pit. Who's as on long as one works. Are you sure this works? No, I don't. That's why I was asking you. This is as long as it works. All right. Let's well, see. While you're playing with it, I'm going to get the other one just to make sure. Mm. I'm trying, y'all. Because I actually trust this guy. One twenty, one twenty six. I uh, trust this one a lot better, but I, like I said, it's magnetic and it sticks to my barbecue pit, and that's where from my so it might be about there. Well, trust, trust, but verify, please. All right, hold on. There. At least it goes a lot faster. Right. I'm saying it's a little better one. 
But the reason why I was outside, like I said, it was stuck to the barbecue pit. Okay, yeah, We're almost 200. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, we're three. over 200. I brought you this for this, and you said right side. Oh, it. sorry. Yeah, fine. we're over 200. So I'm going to start with the testers. There you go, dear. Well, let's set it down there. And then what I did, we had the service tray let's we got see. a while back. Yeah. And then I just lined it with a uh, towel and put a, uh, a a thing on here. I don't know what it's called now. I'm drawing a blank. A grate? Yeah, great. All right, let me get my clock on here so I can do the two-minute timer. All right, and then we'll check on them. I figure we'll do the um, Let's see. Everybody say hello. Carrie said, I'm all the way in Texas as well to miss the trip, right? Yeah, but you're on the other part of Texas. Mm -hmm. You're almost to Louisiana. Oh, thanks. Mary T said, your dough looks perfect, Shelly. It really does. Thank you. Oh, I guess I needed to hit start on the timer. <laughs> um, Air Fry Nani said, I need that empanada set, right? I uh, I think in one of our videos, all our videos where we use it, I linked to it. Yes, but I and can I always know, find. I, I know I sent the link to it to uh, Matreya. Matreya, can you send it over to one of us so we can post it? Or Please. to or directly to Sean. Yeah, that make more sense too. Swilson said, "Are you coming to KPL? We're not going to KPL. We're not going anywhere this year. Right. What we're well, talking about is in Austin. Well, yeah, for a day. Yeah. But what we're talking about is next year in March. So a year from now, we're going to be driving up to Columbus area. So we'll be in your neck of the woods, but we're not going to KPL this year at all. The reason why we're announcing it now is for two reasons." One, I got super, super excited when she came up with the idea. And two, we want to help, you know, we want y'all to help us plan it. So the, the main reason why we're doing it is so we come visit y'all. Because a lot of y'all we haven't met in person. Oh, well, look, it's already settled. Shauna says, okay, if not, I'm set in my Amazon cart. Nice. Matre said, I'd like to find a big empanada hand pie maker like that. I have one that makes small ones. I know this one is so nice. nice. With the three different sizes. Are we using the big one? Yeah, but this is the biggest one. And and it honestly, they they're I've seen them bigger, but I'm thinking like a, the Jamaican hand pies bigger. Right. Uh Sharon said, somewhere I have a set too. <laughs> Shauna said, I have to run downstairs real quick. We shall see if I get that before they get to this comment. Well, Shauna, did you probably? She didn't run fast enough. <laughs> Radical Geek said, Yeah, I know where you're Corporate office is Shelly. Oh, okay. The East Tex. Am I saying that right, Matreya? East Tex? I think that's what they call it. 22Q Cat said, no need in being all proper when we all meet. Ooh, that's no fun, right? Okay. Oh, no. Hold on a second. Let's, let's see how these are coming around, y'all. Oh, you're going to be good too, though? Yeah, it's not quite there yet, but that's what I was going to say is, too, we could set it on the uh, plate. I can pull it up for them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Once it's done. Um, so let me resume there. Mama Bear Lynette said, your empanadas look so adorable oh, and you. yummy. I can't wait to see them after they are cooked. Oh, when we fried these last weekend, they were really good. It was really hard not to eat them all. Mary T said, I don't trust people who don't cuss or who get upset what I do. <laughs> I never get upset. I I think I'm, I'm, I have a pretty high threshold when it comes to being offended by yes. anything. Like, I, I don't know if anybody's ever actually offended me. Only way I know they do it is if they say something derogatory about us or to yeah, us. You know I mean? Yeah. They're not just around us. Right, you know I mean? right, right. Like, yeah, if somebody's being like actually raunchy, rude yeah. or not even raunchy, I don't mind raunchy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That, that but I'm saying me. if somebody's being rude or mean, whether it's to me or to another person, degrading or like malicious, right? Then yeah, I, I don't like that. But to me, just generally, you know, just Speaking being of like sailors in English, is right, fine. right, like that doesn't bother me at all. You want a little bit of flair in your language, exactly. Rickwood said it's Friday and it's the horde. No need for proper language. Okay, good. Well, I know, but we're <laughs> talking about later on during March during the day when it's not Friday. 
Oh. It's not after dark. Yeah. When you see us in person, in, what is it, IRL? <laughs> okay, Matre said, yeah, it's not quite Cincinnati. It's between Dayton and Cincinnati. We can just take a couple cars. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, Did tweet you know also, our car also has a third row seat. Oh, yeah. I forgot about but that. But with the dogs and the luggage, are we going to bring that third row? Well, yeah, it folds up anyways. Oh, it's in there? Yeah, it's, it's made into the car. Oh, okay. Right now it's folded fat, flat, remember? Okay, so here's a couple of the. They're going to be real hot, so you oh, might no. want to wait a minute. Well, that's hold on. That's my mirror. Mirror, I was going to tell you. Let me see that spin. All right. I'm going to try just a couple more of these just to check. Plus, I think it'll also uh, display better on this black. See what I mean? Now they can see it. Yeah. So that's just our little testers there. I'm going to put let me it back on the rack. Start again. Dwayne TQ Cat said, it's always after dark in the in the horde. Say what you want. See? Aww. She says it's always after dark. Or I love, I steal it from uh, Dr. Barry. He calls it his circle of trust. Right? That's us, too. Jason said, okay, I'm done filming tomorrow's video. Good job. I really need yes. to start doing them ahead of time. Yes. Yeah, that does help. It does. It really does help. Keto Simple said, I was up so late last night filming today's video but it was bugging me so i had to make it before going to bed i understand <laughs> yes sharon said yes jungle gyms is in cincinnati two locations the fairfield location is the one to go to okay, okay. Make note well of that or uh, do me a favor send it to me in the uh, and uh post it in the group so like our notepad <laughs> right or email either way yeah, or yeah. just chat and put it you yeah. know message me yes Joy tq said uh, getting all fancy with your empanadas there, Shelly. Right? I'm going to turn this down because I see, I see it's getting hot. We're trying to burn this hot plate. Yeah, let me turn it, it to turning, half. Like, it gets hot and all of a sudden turns itself off. Um, it's like a safety feature on it. Mary T said, that's twice I've opened my empty microwave when yours beeps. Oh, oh that's awesome. sorry, Mary. That's awesome, though. Carrie said, we need to turn the warden down since she was jamming, uh -huh. right? Shauna said, ran downstairs, grab Nosh for dinner, and put on my evening coffee. Oh, yum. Rickwood said, you know what would be good? Having an empanada party where you make your own empanadas oh. with a variety of different ingredients. That could lead oh. to some new creations. Oh, These right? look so good. Oh, wow. That's good I idea. like that. That's an amazing idea, Joe. Okay. Here's what we do then. We're going to do that, right? We'll do a meetup here at the house one day. But everybody has to bring their own uh, maker because we can't just share this one. <laughs> right? Okay. And then I see Shauna is asking how much oil is in that pan. Yeah. So it's a quart of tallow. And this is our homemade tallow too, isn't it? Yeah. It's a, So it's a whole quart of tallow that and we have. And what's awesome about that is last time we made a brisket, we took all the trimmings and cooked this down and made our own tallow. Yeah. I'm just trying to turn turn these a little, but yeah, this got just a little hot. I don't know if y'all noticed or not, but um, we try to do as much homemade as we can. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oops. Now I was gonna say, where's here it is. You, oh yeah. This is our sweetener blend. Let me put some of that on. We should have done it as soon as we got hot. Yeah. Or as soon as it came out. Of it. Yeah. It's all right. Oh, you'll be really good though. What? Taking those, like doing some bigger ones, right? Almost like making chips with them, like actual like tortilla chips. Uh huh. And then serving it with that uh that uh, strawberry jam. Okay, here I'm gonna start with the shrimp, and I just kind of lay it in there. Oh, I figured you'd put it in the basket and set it down, and then uh, the spider. Now I try to just do like because that. Because if you drop it, I was afraid it splash. But yeah, yeah, no. I, well, I set it in there with my hand. Oh, okay. Rickwood said you would need a couple inches of oil so it cover so it doesn't cover the whole empanada here. It like covers the bottom half and then I flip it again. So I guess it's not a true deep fry. It's like a shallow fry. But we make sure to flip it so it does cook all the way. Yeah. And what's what's beautiful about the shrimp we use, it's already pre-cooked. So all yeah. we have to thaw it out. Right. We got lucky we got that. Uh, Tweet to Key Cat said, Is your chili lime spice hot? Real spicy. If not, I might be able to handle it. Sissy alert. Well, you know what we do then? Huh? We need to get her one of the dime bags. 
so that you can try it. Right. You can definitely try I don't think it's spicy. To but me, it's yeah. very but lime and chili forward. But that's a little misnomer, though, because I remember the cheese yeah. I gave Shauna. Remember? Well, that has habanero cheese heat. That was an Well, I know, misnomer. but I thought it was, I thought it was actually... Um, Radical Mostly Geek said, cheese. Ohio, Indianapolis, Michigan, Kentucky can all come. Just tell me the dates and I'll get the venue. Yeah, we'll talk about that, Matreya, on what dates would be good. Um, <laughs> Rick Wood said, compared to Shelly and Heath, we're all spice adverse. That's hilarious. But, okay, say it's a 1 through 10 ranking on the Holland Spicy, okay? Shelly's actually a 12, while I'm maybe a 7.5 or an 8. So I'm not that far out. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can flip this. Y'all see me cry over eating some of this stuff. Mm -hmm. Remember the uh, keto chow incident? <laughs> uh, right? Okay, trying to flip. This is the really the challenging part is you want to spoil you have it. it. That's why we need those mini tongs. No tongs wouldn't work. You would crush it. It would punch through the no, cheese. Okay. okay. Dismiss and let's start again. Okay, I'll be right back. All right. Lilo. All right. Do that, y'all. All right. Uh, Shauna said we need an air fried auntie chili lime special for the spice adverse. Well, y'all have to try and let me know. I don't consider it a spicy one. I, we don't even put, the only spice is the chili. Patty said, square dancing in PE was the only PE I liked. Oh, okay. Well, that's good if you enjoyed it. I mean, I guess compared to all the other options in PE, it was a good one, right? The track was the worst, especially down here in Houston, having to run track when it's like 500 degrees outside. I was like, I ain't running. Uh, just Jason said, I have some fresh habaneros waiting to be made into chaffles. Kind of worried about it, though. Oh, that sounds good to me, Jason. Oh, my gosh. I would love that. But, yeah, if it, 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 maybe you just, if you're kind of, not into a lot of spice maybe only use a little bit of the habanero like not the whole pepper maybe not even half maybe a fourth of it laura said i haven't gotten anything about the cook along for next saturday well i'm going to be sending it by the end this sunday so i was just announcing uh we still have to i still have to record the video and do the recipe card so i hope to do all of that on sunday Shauna said, what temp are you shooting for? Uh, yeah, I was shooting for around 2 to 225. <laughs> Matreya said, link to what? I, I missed it. You'll be surprised. But Dyson was barking, not Dyson. That you have, we sent you a link to the um, empanada oh, maker. Oh, this yeah, one. Blew up. Yeah. Well, that's a shame. Oh, look at that. Ugh. Did it all in there? Do we need more? Do we oh, more? this one opened up too. Oh. Okay. That happens sometimes. That's what I'm saying. It'd be better if we had a smaller spider too. Ah, uh, yeah. That one that blew up. So we're, we're going to put those and together. Huh? And then let me we'll eat get those out on the, the little bits. I think because the oil just got too hot. Oh, so it just blew up? Yeah. Let's try again, y'all. Okay. This is almost like, um, let me call it. You know, like when you used to go to, what is that? I can't remember. It's either uh, Captain D's or Long John Silver's, the little pieces in the bottom of the tray. Right. You know what kind of look like? Mm hmm. You know what I mean? Though that'd be really good dipped in that uh, strawberry. Mm-hmm. That's way good. Hmm. Oh no! 
Mm -hmm. Dustin just dropped a whole container of blueberries on the floor. That sucks. Um, and next time you get up, uh -huh. we go ahead and start making the dip. Hopefully, the rest of these turn out better. Oh, good night, Dustin. I hope you had a good evening. Tweet TQ Cat said, probably too early for me in the morning, Keto Simple, but see you later, right? Uh, Tweet TQ Cat said, hey, where's... Renee bid. Does she not love us anymore? She's been busy with her new house. She said, just getting out of work and have HEB. We'll get it after. So we'll see. What am I getting? Oh, yeah. Brenda said, is that winter spice or no? It is the um, chili lime. Oh, this? This? All this is? I'm sorry, Brenda. All this is is a brown swerve and cinnamon. That's it. And I just blended it together. And then um, I'm going to be sprinkling it on the dessert ones. You have a quite new food, though. Shawnee said, I'm a negative seven. <laughs> You're hilarious. Sharon said, okay, heading to the treadmill. Need to get some time in. I'll be ear hustling. Oh, good. Time for the treadmill. And my bear Lynette said, I am a one or two on the spice scale. We had her right? a special blend of the uh, beef broth for her because I made it too hot for her. Uh-huh. That's fine. Now I see? like, I like um, Now these it. aren't getting hot enough. That's what I'm saying. we got to learn that machine. Do you want to switch over to the, uh, the stove? Well, then you would have to be answering all the comments. Or I can go stand in the stove and you know, I'll work off your timer. Yep. Do stay you know there. how to flip all of them? Yeah, i just show you. I see. Um... Laura said, chili lime isn't spicy, but I think you're also someone, Laura, your spice yeah. level, uh -huh. like ours, is, is so high that I don't think, so for somebody like Shauna or 22Q Cat, you know, like a jalapeno is a bit spicy at times. Because like, we remember stories, her grandmother, black pepper was too spicy for her. Yeah. Mm. But I love this though, these, the dessert ones. We um. We Can I get cheese. the butter? Yeah. Uh huh. We stuffed them with cheese. Right. And where's the garlic? Do you want, uh, uh, okay, okay. What do you want? Do uh, you want a knife? Yes. Butter knife. Yeah. And then I got the spoon right, right there. Radical Geek said, mm, habanero with caramelized onions and cheddar for chaffles would be great. Ooh, that sounds good. Okay, I'm just gonna start. We're gonna hopefully this works out, y'all. But we're we're doing a um, fingers crossed. You want me to use this spoon? Yeah. Oh, okay. I have blueberries on it. I don't care. It's all getting mixed up in here, anyways. No oh, lord. I told you you don't have to do that. That's not what you said. It's like it shuts off. Or That's something, what I'm saying. It has like a safety feature on it. Ugh. It's annoying is what it is. Yeah. Like those for me, they're hot. They're either nothing to over hot. I got an idea. Mm. We might have to do these on the stove at four. Because I, I had it perfect on the stove. What if I give it for a second to the uh, thing? What if we just load them in this and throw in the air fryer? This will fit. It's, well, I mean, yeah, that'll fit, but the thing is, it won't get at that crunchiness. Oh, okay. Dang it. I thought we were mainly uh, trying to avoid sticking to the grease. Yeah, the crunch is what helps. Oh, it keeps going off. I don't know. Do you want to want me to do it on the stove? Yes, I'll, I'll do it. Okay. So you want on five? Four. All right, here's this one. Is that oh. Spin around to me. Well, I got it, I got it, I got it. We'll see, y'all. Okay. 
I might have to check. Uh oh, we got the cat again. What is going on? Not tonight. Oh, there. Now we're back. Shauna said, I was going to say slotted spoon, but they will be done before they read it. Well, we're obviously not. And I think the only slotted spoons we have are plastic. Mary T said, we're having beef shanks and mashed celery root cauliflower tonight. I post a pic. It's looking so good. Ooh, that sounds great. Sherrod said, that crunch on my iPads. Uh-oh, iPods. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it starting to bubble? It's like, not really. Oh, okay. Give me a few more minutes. Rickwood said, just had to take the dogs out. It is pouring rain here, but my project I was working on today is working great. Fantastic. It's been flooding near the exit of the porch, dry bed, dug parallel to porch. Oh, that's very smart, Rickwood. Way to go. Mom Bear Lynette said, okay, time for me to hit the hay. I will finish watching this on the replay. Good night. Good night, Lynette. Good morning, Lynette. Good morning, Lynette. <sighs> Uh, Sharon said, sounds like a thermostat on the hot plate. Right. right. I think it's, it's, so it's a brand new one too. The thermostat, it just has minimum or max. And I don't think it like knows how to go in between, in between right? You either have it on or off. Radical Geek said, could bake them too. Yeah, I know. That? No, because I want it to be crunchy. Right. So we'll just, we'll do that. It'll only take a minute. Let me go check on that. You don't trust me. It's boiling now. Is it? Let me see. Don't touch them. And they need to be flipped. No, they're not brown around the edge. Because you haven't flipped them. They're not going to brown until you get them in there. They're in there right now. You'll start, you'll see where they'll be kind of brown. Well, you need to eat these before I do. Go ahead, the eat them. The testers. might have busted because ah. it's in there so long let's do it like you say go ahead and bake them and then we get done no because then you'll have to wait for the oven to heat up and everything yeah okay, i'm just trying to push that in let's see hopefully you know what we need really i guess uh -huh. we need to get next and one of those other it's not infrared it's those other burners what um I've seen what's his name use it before. Wesley or Wes, what's his name? Low carb, high fat, whatever. It's a single burner, but it's a low carb, high gluten. Yeah, but there's it's a single burner. Yeah, I know. They I don't are, know what it's called though. Yeah, they have infrared ones. They're like seventy dollars. I know, but it's a necessity. Oh goodness, y'all! It's for the horde. Mm -hmm. And it'll be a write-off because it's for the channel. Still costs money here. I know. That's why we have jobs. <sighs> well, go entertain them while I'm playing with this. <laughs> Scared of your chair, though. Well, you don't have to sit in my chair. Oh, what do we got here, folks? Let me see if my eyes will focus in on this. I'll move her phone out of my way. See, my TMJ is so, is what, is too, I can't read this. I'm sorry, my eyes are messing with me. And my um, my glasses are in the other room. I think I'm going to have to do a few days of just liquids. Oh, who said that? Laura S. Oh, no. So no pictures for a few days. Oh, oh. wow. I'm sorry. I hope things come out for you. And somebody laughed at Coda. Uh, Joe did. Are See, you highlighting the comments? No. Oh, goodness. That's why I'm supposed to be doing that and you're doing this. 22Q Cat says, well, the horde is the best. Oh, thank you. And then, let me see. Yeah, Joe says, we'll take pics of your ideas about liquid meals I'm sorry you have you are having so many problems. So well, I'm sorry too. Let me see if it'll let me scroll. Let 
I don't know. We're into the. We're we're caught up on comments now, or I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. Oh, you won't let me scroll. Let me scroll up, but not down. Well, yeah, I was almost caught up. I think just one has come in. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. My secretary walked off. I'm not your secretary. That's your new nickname. Oh. And Shauna says, "Heath, be nice." That's right. Woohoo. Hold on. Woohoo. Really you were caught up. Mary T says, may go to Heath. Good job. Way to go, Heath. Okay, thank you. And then Joe says, you're fine, Heath. You're out of speech? I don't know what that means. I'm sorry, Joe. You're fine, Heath. We are out of speech. Okay. Well, that's what I'm saying. If you're... If we're okay with baking it, we're okay with frying it then in the air fryer, I mean. Right. And Matreya says, Laura, up your B6, B1, B12, and folate to assist relaxing the TMJ clenching. Oh, wow. That sounds awful. I'm so sorry you're going through with that. Going uh, through that. So I'm saying, babe, come, come trade me. I'm going to have to throw these in the air fryer. You're going to do them all? What? I want to just show that we did them. Well, I know, but the thing's not helping us. That's what you want to do. You'd rather do them in the air fryer. Yes, because that way you can come play with your friends. And we get it done. Well, here, I just want to test a couple more, y'all. Let me see how this turns out. Because I can do all four of these at once. Well, but you have to spray okay. underneath and on top. Okay. Well, come over here while I hold these and spray, please. This will work. And then do you know the time at 10 on them? No. 10 minutes would be too long. Okay. No. He wants to do it another way. Because if you do it, it's less stress. I wasn't stressed. Okay, go. Turn it on now. Okay. Whoops. Let's see. Did he? Uh, okay. 
Okay. I'm just making sure he didn't skip anything. Okay. Matreya said, Laura, oh, you read that one. Mary T said, oh my God, you guys, the beef shake. Oh, I bet that is amazing. Now, uh huh. The only thing I'm cooking right now is the, uh, the seafood. Shrimp. Yeah. The shrimp. Oh, yeah. Well, do you need a longer spoon for that, too? So we're just making some garlic butter here. I'm going to slowly add in some butter. And I was also thinking of adding some seasoning to it. Okay, go right ahead. Do it. Do it to it. And now this is just salt, pepper, garlic, and a little bit of heat. I don't even remember what season it is exactly. thought for a second he was saying a little bit of heat. I was like, oh, I didn't know we were. A, I'll make it sweet. I'll stir it with my finger. I didn't know we were serving that up already. Wow. Huh. You. All your ideas. Actually, let me have like a little whisk. Oh, yeah. Do you want one of these new ones or the yeah. big guy? Yeah. That'll work. Thank you. Oh, for sure. Do you mind checking those in the fryer? On the stove? Yeah. yeah. They might need to come out now. There's nothing in the fryer. Yeah, there is. They're little, the Nuggets. little strips. There's our little garlic butter here. It's depressing though. Why? Because I really want them fried, like you said, but it's just taking too long and too much. Patience, dear. Patience. Okay. Just stirring this up. Radical Geek said, I love beef shank. Me too. Beef shank is so good. Rickwood said, beef shank is so good. Uh -huh. Especially when the marrow is in it. Oh, right? Mary T said, I was so happy to see them at the butcher's today in a dollar off each. Oh, wow. Nice. That's awesome, Mary T. That's even better. What are y'all, who does their grocery shopping on the weekend? Like, I always do mine on Sundays. How about y'all? When do you do your grocery shopping? Like, I know Lynette, right there, you're watching, you usually go on Wednesdays. Let me know what day you typically do your grocery shopping. Tomorrow, I am thinking of going to the farmer's market. Well, I say thinking, I am going to the farmer's market. I'm really excited about that. Uh, one of the farmers that's there, he was posting pictures of all of his, like he has four different kinds of radishes. And so I'm super excited to get all of those radishes, y'all. Okay. Are those done? Oh, you took it off? I wanted that on. I don't know. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to try to fry up the blueberries. Okay. I thought we were going to fry those too, but the other one. Sharon said, only 15 minutes of treadmill tonight. Today was chiropractor. Well, hey, just getting those 15 minutes is awesome. That's great, Sharon. Shauna said, um, I have no rhyme or reason when I go shopping. Sometimes I look for deals. Other times I'll try my luck. Well, you have that grocery. Yes. Did you pull the ones that were in there out? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's why I turned it off. That's all we're doing. You have that grocery outlet, so that really helps you save. And his is about ready, and then I'm thinking that might be enough sauce, dipping sauce for us. What do you think? Probably, right? For me. Oh, for you? Now, I saw one. Let me know if you want to do the where they add a little bit of heavy cream to this. Sure. All right, let me do one more pat of butter since you seem to think... This isn't enough. Well, I like having leftovers. That's why I always do extra. Oh. Because I can use them on my other meals as well. Okay, let's, we're going to go check that. And turn it off. Oh, perfect. Okay. And then, yeah, you know. 
Okay, let me go look and see how those in the air fryer are. And then I'll come back to this. All right, we'll be right back. Hold on here, I already got. Oh, okay. Well, here, we probably need these. Well, they're going to be flipped before we pull them. Okay. I want to see if they're even done enough to flip. No. They're too. Yeah. Put them back in. Let's do it again. Just turn it. Yeah. Oh, so we set a timer. I'm going to let it run like that, and I'm going to go over here and turn it off. But clean. Can you clean that bottle? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to burp this, too. I'm going to be right back, y'all. I'm going to try to fry these blueberry ones up. And I have not used that yet. Use what? Oh, oh, heavy cream you just put well, clean it away, so I did. No, I said clean up the air fryer down there at the bottom. Oh, I'll catch that at the end when I clean up everything else. I'm more worried about getting everything done right now. It'll dry. It'll dry you nuts, I know. No, it dries on I there know, if you God. don't clean it right away. Oh. Let's test this. Yeah, this looks better. Okay. Now I'm going to set my timer for two minutes over here. Okay, let's see what we're up to. Um, ooh, y'all really got in there. Awesome. Laura says, I normally shop on Fridays, but decided to go tomorrow. Oh, how nice. We'll, we'll shop together, Laura. Won't that be fun? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no, no. What's happening? I forgot what my palate. Okay. So to my little garlic butter, I'm going to try to make this creamy, y'all, and add some heavy cream, like about a fourth of a cup. There we go. And then my wonderful husband can now put it away like he wanted. And I'm just whisking this all in here. And we're going to see. Oh, you know what I do now, too, though? Uh uh. Not tonight. But the blueberry. Uh did you made or the jam yeah i'm gonna add that to some ice cream oh yeah that, that would go great rick would say grocery shopping on monday or tuesday those are the days when i get extra gas points oh there you go also when the butcher will have his markdowns oh that's perfect okay i'm just whisking this in and you kind of see it's already starting to thicken up Oh, I thought you put these both in. No, I was one at a time just to one see. Through this thing. And then get this out of the Oh, way. nice. All right, y'all. I'm going to turn this down just a little bit more. And yeah, it's time for me to go check on over here the ones that I'm trying. See, we almost need our kitchen set up kind of like um, Matreya's. Oh, yeah. That sounds dangerous. <laughs> but what I do want to make, I don't know how soon I can do it, though. I want to make a little cart with wheels on it that I can mount the um, tripod on. So when we do want to like cook on that stove, I can spin it around. Oh, yeah. That'd be a lot easier and handier, wouldn't it? Yeah. In fact, I remember I already have one out there, a little flat cart. I just need to build a box or whatever, a thing. Ooh, I know what I can do. Oh. I have a little, have to make those little um, pipe couplings i can mount the tripod to that 
there you go. And then that'll spin around all the time. I'm going to start working on that this weekend. Oh, wow. Okay. Or the channel. Um, let's see. 22 Q Cat said, no weekend grocery shopping for me ever. Too many people. I go early in the morning when the store opens, in and out in no time. The only thing I don't like about doing that, it seems like every time I do that, I run into it while they're still stocking it. So the guys, the, the, the workers are kind of in the way, or they get annoyed with me. That, well, they shouldn't get annoyed with you. That is, see, that's the great thing about being retired is because you can do stuff like that. Ooh, this sauce. Mm, that's good. Okay, so it's time. Keith is going to go check, and I'm going to go flip the stuff in the fryer. Yeah, I'll make sure I'll this one I got it here. Okay. So these are what they look like out of the air fryer. I'm going to flip these and throw them back in for a little bit. I'm going to use a spatula and put a tong. I'm going to be less likely to smack them. Right? Nope. No, dang it. Fell apart. Okay, I'll wait before you put the number one. You know what I mean? No, I did a scoop under. No, I, I know, scoop. that's the problem with the air fryer. Do we need to do awesome? Another one of these, you put the whole thing. Did you put this one down? No, I don't know. I only got one. Oh, but this is kind of like double hard. Dang it. That's all right. We'll, we'll salve it. So what I say, too, ugly food is real food. Right? You're so depressing. I think because this was a little sprinkle. I'll figure it out and help it actually. No, because that's not how the fat head dough works. Oh. That's why I was saying I don't like the air fryer really for fat head dough. Not when it comes to the air fryer stuff. Not, I mean, the. Well, you want to fish in the oven? In that pan? Put the whole pan in the oven or no? We'll get two that'll be okay. There you go. You ready to set your timer? Uh, just go ahead, turn it on. I'll be there in a second. Right. Sad panda. But yeah, I think the blueberry ones turned out pretty good. Good, of course they did. So I didn't the air fryer. This is a virtue. Yeah, I'm not virtuous. I think that's what it was, is when I was cooking them, I had more patience. Yeah. And you would have, like, given up, and so that's why I kept practicing with it till I got it just right. Yeah, but this burner, this uh, hot plate is not helping us. Yeah, well, it's all right. It's, like, perfect for melting the butter, or, like, when we do it for making um For sauteing and everything, yeah, it's like great. Like, ground beef. For sauteing, it's really good, but uh, when you need like typically regulated, yeah, it's not as good. So eventful. Mm -hmm. Well, tell them how's your job been going? Going really good, actually. I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I felt bad the other day, though. This lady called in. Uh, basically, uh, I don't want to be ageist, 
or whatever, but she was a grandmother. She was having problems, and she had a five-year warranty on her equipment. She bought like a, I think it was a five-piece appliance package from us, and with a five-year warranty on every piece. And but it was back from 2020. So when everything's that old, it's kind of hard for us to find their um, to pull up all the information on it. Especially current current stuff, it's really easy to pull it up. But that, I guess that goes with re, you know without without any actual explanation on that reason why. But mm-hmm. um, she couldn't find her original paperwork, and she didn't remember her order number because it was so long ago. And she had changed phones since then, changed phone numbers. Because we do check, we do keep everything underneath your phone number, especially when you set up an account and everything. So I'm able to search it that way too. So it took a while to find it. And then I kept going back and back and forth with her, trying to do it. I mean, she was very nice about it too. Because my big thing is help me help you. I will spend as long as I need to to help you take care of some stuff. Just don't get an attitude with me, please. But anyway, she was she was amazing. Um, we finally figured out because um, we had to narrow down the way I'm searching through all of her uh, past um, purchases. It helped that I could narrow it down by just searching for all the big ticket items. So I finally found it, and she was so thrilled. And then also we have changed insurance companies since she bought hers. So I had to get her in touch with the original insurance company. And that took a little searching too because I didn't have her th- their information saved in handy. And I couldn't remember where I, I I have to go to go pull it up, but I got that all sorted, and they were really pl- proud of me for doing that and like delighted she was too. I say they were. I think I, I my 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 direct supervisor was the one that helped me and uh, coached me through doing it. Basically held my hand, and he couldn't hear her talking, but he held heard my end of the conversation. He was able to tune in and and. And listen that way. And he every once in a while he would uh, mention a few things I could do. And it's really hard for me to hear both of them talking at the same time because right. I only have the one ear and I'm in a headset. So I had to pause her and go on hold, put her on hold so I could listen to him. And guys, so I was going back and forth. So that was a little fun. And I um I have to make sure when I do that too, not to leave them on hold too long because then it feels like you're being ignored. Yeah. So I luckily, whenever you do place a customer on hold, there is a little clock running. It shows you how long you've had them. And it also tells you how long you've been on the call, too. So that's also nice. But the beauty of that, there is no parameters on how long I'm on a call. They just want us to get everything done as quick as possible and try to avoid callbacks. Get everything done and then satisfy the customer. And my little motto, and I told the boss this, and he's like, yeah, that's a good way of looking at it. I like that is send them away smiling. And then, and I always have to remember to uh, remind them that at the end of the call, there's a three question survey. I'd be great. I greatly appreciate it. You could fill it out for me. And then, then I just, I don't tell them this, but fingers crossed. I hope they're nice to me on the survey too, that I was helpful for them. But I always, whenever I fill out any survey mm-hmm. thing, I always give high marks, even yeah. if they couldn't help me or resolve it yeah. or, um, you know, whatever the issue was, I never give a bad score. Right. Cause you've been on the other side of that. Right. And I see where, like, I've been at a company before where somebody was like, well, they, they're like, Oh, I never give fives because to me, nobody's ever perfect. And I'm like, they're not they're, a one to five scale. Five does not mean perfect. But like even when I have to go to resolutions to get them to help us, yeah. at the end of that, there's also a survey there, and I always give them high marks. Oh, see. You got to protect your your, your 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 teammates. Right. Or a few right. occasions, I have to talk to the vendors, or I have to talk to the delivery company, the switchboard. Yeah. They're basically doing the same job, just with a different company. So yeah. I don't give them any flack either. Right. Because they talk to the customers away occasionally too. So. Yeah. So I don't give them, and then it also makes me look at the world differently now too. When I do have to call a company for a troubleshooting or a customer service, so now I'm on the you know the customer side, right? And I think that's awesome, also too, because I've noticed like the few times I've had to call in and at you know like when I was fighting with them about my uh, medication, I've noticed their uh, attitudes a lot better too because of how you approach them. 
Yeah. It's a thankless job. It really is. Right. But I don't want to cry on your shoulders and like that. I mean, it's just first world problems. (laughs) That's the big thing I got to keep in mind, too. Everybody who's calling me, they're not calling just to chat, just to visit. Well, most of the time, every once in a while, I get that one outlier who is just lonely. But usually, they, they have a problem. The reason mm-hmm. why they're calling. So my job is to fix their problem. Right. That's that why I sense. feel bad when they start apologizing to me for asking me for help. I'm like, no, that's what I'm here for. Right. Exactly. Right. Check on my sauce. Please the... don't beat yourself up over it. That's what you're here for. Right. Exactly. Okay. Ooh, this <clears throat> green sauce, y'all. This could be good. All right. Patty said, my grocery shopping changes depending on the rotating work schedule, but I refuse to go on a weekend if at all possible. Oh, that is so nice. On the timer for the uh, air fryer. Yeah, I think it just needs another moment. But it's still running. I didn't want it to burn. Yeah. Shauna said, not used to Shelly standing up. Only could see her hands cooking. I'm Jaya's hands. Okay. I'm going to go over here and check on the last little bit. And then I think the others in the air fryer are ready. Yeah, I'm going to turn it off. Well, take a look at them first. Oh, well, there you go. All right. Hold on. I got one thing I'm going to do first. Okay. I save all my cans. So I also save these lids sometimes. The little oh. uh, the pull tops. Nice. Add all that to it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, these look a lot better. Uh-huh. Yeah. Do you want these added to it on there? Or do we add these to those? I think it make more sense. You want to put them all on here? Yeah. Okay. There, this one, Space I Space that out. I just set this down on there. Taste, taste that. Mm-hmm. Do you think that's still good? Yeah. Uh, because I'm about to put a whole bunch right oh, here. Oh, okay. Okay. Here, I do this. Here's my pie pan. These are ugly looking, though. Oh. Oh, and I got an idea. Okay. Once this butter's ready. The butter's ready. Well, because if we get rid of this. Yeah. I was just keeping it warm. Uh Uh-huh. While I'm playing with my air fryer. Uh Uh-huh. Okay, y'all. We're going to move some of this out of the way. Nut butter's ready. Here. What's that for? To set that on. Like like we always do. Oh, okay. Okay. You're done with the butter? Yes. Right. This is that garlic butter, creamy garlic butter. That's what it should be called. There you go. This one is clean. Oh, we're not going to use it at all? No. I thought we'd do his and hers. Well, I didn't make enough for his and hers. Okay. My bad. Sorry. All right. No, it's not that. I just that's ended up being what all it made. It wasn't mm-hmm. anything intentional. Okay. And then we've got our avocado over here. Oh yeah, I forgot all about that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. Thank y'all so much for bearing with us tonight. You already got a pineapple? Yeah. I'm so sorry about all that. We kind of debated, too. We were like, well, should we do it all on the stove? And I was like, well, I know how to do it on the stove. But then, you know, it was like, well, how do we do the camera then? So I said, I got to build that rack. Mm. 
Okay. So these are the ones he did in the air fryer. They're ugly. No, they look, this one. Whew, this one turned out pretty good. Whoops. Just throw it on there. And then here's the ones that exploded when I first tried to air or deep fry those. those but the then problems. look at the blueberry. That turned out pretty good. And look at this blueberry one. Oh, you want a fork? Mm. Yeah, or the spoon's fine. You need a napkin too, though, don't you? I have one here. Okay. Now we're back, y'all. And, oh, my water, please. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, dear. Ooh, yum. My ginger fruit punch one. I don't know where my... I guess this one will Here. work. Oh, thank you. Um, okay, we're all settled. Thank y'all again so much for all your patience tonight. Okay, Rickwood said, Aldi does their deals on Wednesday here. I avoid groceries on the weekend. Too many people try to get their stuff done since they work all week. And that is my my issue. What it's hot in here now. That Will Bali if I turn that fan on? I guess not. Never mind. Well, go ahead. Why don't you turn it on. Cold. No, it's not about being cold. I'm just I it know. makes everything cold. But turn it on low. Somebody is hangry tonight. Sharon said, We did our shopping on Wednesday this week while in Columbus for my hair appointment. So this weekend is staying home and working around the house. Oh These fun. The Blueberries. Yeah. And that's the, you have to grab the whole thing, babe. What? Just mad. Disappointed. It, it happens. Here you go. Thank you. them right there. Mm, I'm so glad. That is so nice. It's rare um, that I have like a day off during the week. So yeah, Saturday is usually my day to go grocery shopping. She loves going on Sundays. Oh yeah. Like uh, ugh, not gonna do Sunday. Where do you want me to put trash? Just here? That's fine. Here's the knife for yours. Here's my avocado. Put some salt. More salt if you need it. I'm going to take some of this creamy garlic butter. I freaking love avocados, y'all. It's like my favorite thing. Mmm. Mmm. Patty said on groceries, Costco has chosen mayo on sale this month. Yeah, I saw Dustin posted about that. That's awesome. Now, I've heard mixed things on chosen mayo. We only got one. I think I got it like on discount one time, and it was okay. What do y'all think? Or this one right here is good. Okay, thank you. Are y'all fans of chosen mayo? Like, what's your favorite brand of mayo? Homemade. No, that's why I said brand. I mean, I think my ours brand wise, yeah, homemade's my favorite. What's the one the trawl jars we got at Costco? Those green label, the green leads on the Primal Kitchen. Oh, yeah, Those I do really like that. Mm hmm. Mm. Okay, let's see here. All right. Here's one of the air fryer ones. Mm. Y'all tell me if I'm crazy or not. 
or I'm just being a little extra. You know how I save my cans? I recycle them. Well, I'll throw these uh, full pans in there to it also. Okay. Would y'all do that? I don't see why not, right? Mm. Shauna said, that's why I have Instant Cart, right? I said, please stand by, Horde. Laugh out loud, right? Mary T said, I shop on demand. We buy so little from the actual grocery store, even less in summer when our garden is in full swing. Eggs, cheese, meat, sausage, all farm direct. Odd five-hour round trip to Costco. Wow, that is so nice, Mary. I, you know... I wish we could have like a garden. I mean, we've got the space for it, but y'all saw, I can't even do herbs. I can't grow herbs. I'm not that country. Mm. But you know what they do though? Mm. I don't know if it'll work or not. I've seen it when people have, they use those pallets and do the raised gardens. We could do that on the deck. Well, I mean, yeah, but it's still, my thing is I can't grow. Oh, I see. And I don't think it's a country thing because I know there's plenty of people that you know, have like city gardens. Well, no, I'm just talking about like being inclined to do that. Mm. I would love to do it. And Mary's garden is beautiful. I think also you have like the perfect climate for it. I think the problem here is it's just so hot. But yeah, I've just, I even Stupid when I get hot. herbs, I can't get the herbs. And now I sweetened all of those. That's fine. Okay. I can't get the herbs to grow. I just, I am not good at growing things. Now, if something is alive, like an animal, I, I think I'm pretty good at keeping an animal alive or a person alive. But plants, mm -mm, I just can't do it, y'all. I think I'm mastered growing dust bunnies. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, you would try that. Oh, okay. You want this one too? Mm -hmm. you want those? Yeah. A little skin. I said, you know what though? Mm. I'm right here by the trash can. Why am I saving them? I don't know. Wait, do you want to try this? I was going to use a spoon and scoop it up. What, do you want it on sure. your plate? Please. Let me know what you think because that was the one. It blew up. Yeah. Hey, what happened on that back? It was because the oil wasn't hot enough when we first put it in. And then it got hot. And then it got hot, and then it just, it never, the trick with the fathead dough is because if it's not hot enough, like in the, what I found, if it isn't hot enough, then it just basically melts again, mm -hmm. which is what happened there. If it gets too hot, then it just burns. So you tell a little bit here, it got a little hot. Um and then if it, you know, so you have to get it at just the right temperature. So that's why the stove really works best. So I'm sorry I was off camera for that. But yeah, that's what happened to that one is the oil just was not hot enough whenever I fried it. So it just ended up dissolving. So that would be my trick. If you're going to do the deep fry method, and I know, like Brenda said, she already uses tallow for deep frying. Just with the fat head dough, you have to have it at just the right temperature. And that little mm. uh, hot plate we have does not regulate the heat correctly for frying. Mm-mm. Mm, -mm. mm Cat said that garlic butter. I'm saying this garlic good. butter is good. Creamy garlic butter. Um. Sharon said blueberry blowout, a little bit of blueberry blowout. Not that bad. Not as bad as the shrimp that did. A shrimp explosion. Mm -hmm. Oh, Shawna said this weekend I have a Saturday gathering and my longtime crafty friends. We meet once a month, but I've missed a few. Oh, how mm -hmm. fun. That's awesome. That would be great, Shauna. Mm. Man, I'm getting full. Mm -hmm. Oh, geez. It is very filling. Mary T said, I used to have to wrestle other old ladies 
for butter from the dairy. It was so limited, but lately there's been lots. Been replenishing my butter hoard. Soon there will be tied it up. Oh, wow. Yeah, I love farm fresh butter. Oh, my gosh. It's so good. But I thought most people uh, drinking like the uh, standard American diet thought butter is bad for you. I mean. I know liars, but. <laughs> but when it comes down to it, people are going to eat what, what they, they want to eat. Yeah, I know. I know. Mm. Pretty good. So these little scraps are coated with the cinnamon uh, sugar. You know, swerve sugar, not real. You know what, though? I forgot about it. I don't know if it'll be worth it on this now. Who else will have that bag in there? The confectioner sugar. No, I've used it all. You used it all? I've got so. I thought it was still in the pantry. Mm -hmm. Right? <sighs> That's how you salvage that. Right? Mmm. It's like, you know, this on um, Sunday, I'm going to smoke a pork loin, but I think this butter will be good on that, too. Oh, yeah. Well, we can always make more butter, babe. Right. That's what I was saying. Also making it. Uh, Has anybody uh, ever had green garlic? Or heard of green garlic or had green garlic before? That's how we're going to use for St. Patty's Day. <laughs> That's probably our green. Oh, okay. And you want to do a salad. So there you go. Right. I'm going to use it in the green bowls. All right. We're really leaning into the green. Apparently. Now, Ash one's yours. Okay. So you can have all the garlic cream butter you want. Oh, you know be good too, though? I don't know if it's worth it, though. Mm. Take some of these, make them savory. These little guys uh -huh. and use them for like croutons in a salad. All the crunches. Oh, that would be good. Rick Wood said, since I'm not doing dairy right now, I think I would just take the guts of the empanadas and serve them over healthy noodles. And there you go. That'd be perfect. Right. Or like uh he would say, even in a salad, you know, to me, because it's already getting into the 80s here, y'all. So I'm really leaning into salads. Mm -hmm. I think that would be great on a salad too. L Strange. Hey, Lisa. She goes, hello, y'all. Just getting off work and tossing some beef in the instant and hoping for the best. What did I miss? Where is Heath's hair? Man, where is your hair, Heath? I'm out there in the yard. I'm tired of looking like a hippie, so I had to cut it. Looking you like a hippie. would be good, too, though. The same mixture, put it in an omelet. Oh, yeah. Make a shrimp omelet mm -hmm. that would be good mm. this looks really mm. good though yeah the flavor is good lisa what you missed is mm -hmm. our hot plate didn't regulate the temperature correctly for uh to us to uh, fry that oil for the tallow for the tallow so we ended up finishing it off in the uh on the stove and in the air fryer mm -hmm. But deep fat frying it, or even shallow like we did, was actually the best way to do it. Yeah, it had the best best crunch to it, mm -hmm. like in our short. Did anybody watch our short? I know a lot of people watched it because it almost has 500 views, which I was really happy about. I mean, I know, you know, some shorts can be... Me too. Yeah. Going to have a lot more, but... You gotta start somewhere. Somebody's bothering me. Though. Oh. It's in the way. Oh. Well, here, I'll use this for my blueberry one. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. Mm. Sorry, y'all. I got a little shrift in my tooth. 
Rickwood said, hope you get a five-star review, he. Thank you. Sherrod said, okay, move it upstairs and I'll watch on the TV. So this is my good night. Oh, oh good night, night Sherrod. Thanks for Hope you in. get some good rest. But I'll still see comments, Tee right? Until you start like. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, Marie's here. Hey, hey Marie. Hi. She goes, hey there, late to the party. Well, I'm glad you showed up. Morning, Mary. Uh-huh. Uh oh. Uh-huh. There we go. It was like a little shrimp. It didn't want to go down, y'all. Uh, swimming upstream. Shauna said, meanwhile, I finished eating my dinner. Two hot dogs heated in my hot logic. A uh, couple slices of cheese, two dill pickles, and a spoon of peanut butter. Mmm, that sounds yum. Ever since you saw Mary T's hot dogs, you were like, okay, you gotta have hot dogs. Right. Uh, and she goes, it's y'all sauce tonight. Aw. Lisa said, us and sauce, right? Tweet TQ Cat said, everyone's been talking about hot dogs recently. Now I want hot dogs, and I haven't bought any in over six years. <laughs> we finished That's we awesome. Left. We finished all of ours. Mm -hmm. mm. I think those are the, the ones we got on sale at Costco. Mm -hmm. L Street said, ooh, look at that steam, right? L Street said, Shelly must have chef hands. That's what he says. He does. <laughs> She's a superwoman. Shauna said, okay, tomorrow my friend's making corned beef and cabbage oh, nice. for our craft girls get together. I think I'm going to make Casey drop biscuits using the baked potato. Bingo. That sounds amazing. I got, um, I, I don't know if Aldi has it this week, but last week our Aldi had the corned beef for $2.99 a pound. You bought like three of them, didn't you? No, I bought two. Oh. I would have gotten more. The first two I oh, grabbed. Right. Are you done with this now? Yeah. The first two I grabbed had holes in the bag, and I didn't know until I got to the register, and then it went everywhere, y'all. It was really bad. 22 Q Cat said, I need to look for that flavor water you're drinking tonight, Shelly. I don't remember ever seeing it at Aldi. I think it was just seasonal, Lynn, because I haven't seen it again, and I, I didn't even know I got it. I think whatever I was grabbing, all of them that were for sale, you know, marked down to like 34 cents. I just grabbed these thinking it was part of the pumpkin what flavor or, the ginger? <coughs> or caramel apple. Yeah, the ginger fruit punch. That was way good. So uh, they just got in there. And so I think it was just a seasonal flavor. Mm. You should try that with this one. It's good. Okay. Way TQ Cat said, I've never had kibasa. I don't think I need to get out more. Ooh, kibasa is good. Okay, I'm going to try a little bit of this ghost pepper and blueberry on the blueberry. Mm -hmm. mm. Ooh. Right? Mm. Ghost pepper, right? She's got to see in your ghost. <laughs> that is a scene, y'all. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm, Shada said, not for the drop biscuits, but I will tomorrow. Good. Laura said, he, don't be disappointed. It's okay. I'm sure they will be amazing. Uh, Thank you, Laura. Thank you, but you're not amazing. They're edible. The ones we made for the short were definitely yes. amazing. We did them all on the stove. That's why. And I. Well, because I have a lot more patience, mm -hmm. right? It's not a dingy hitch to you. I'm not. No, I'm telling you, I don't have patience. Right. And I'm, I, I think also I have patience and I'm stubborn because I'm like, no, this will work. I am going to master this. So if I had kept trying here, I probably could have got it, but it's okay. We got it figured out. I'm anxious for you to try the blueberry. I'm trying to make room for it. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Oh. Camera. Oh, it, oh. Mm -hmm. oh man. What do you think? Yes. It's almost like a fruit kolache. Mm. Wow. Look at the blue. If y'all can see the blueberry oh, in there. This is way good. And the uh, that breed. Oh my gosh. Really good. 
Oh, sorry. I was going to hold the uh, hold the bottle while you did that lid. Oops. Uh huh. Even you with the dauber on it, it's still a fast pour. Yeah, Carrie said I haven't had mayo in a long time. Okay, well, it's it is easier to make your own and definitely cheaper. Barely begun. Said chosen is my fave, but it's gotten too expensive. Uh -huh. We'll try Costco if you have a Costco there, Coda. They're on sale right now. Rickwood said, I don't like chosen mayo. I've gotten to eating mustard instead. Private Kitchen is too expensive, right? It, it is a, a bit too expensive. But in fact, uh, I've grabbed the small jars. I've looked at them anyways at, at um, Sprouts. But they have the flavored ones too. And she always says, nope, nope, no. Nope. If we're going to buy one, we need to buy the big jar and at Costco. It's more cost effective. Yeah. Or I'll make some. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Like I was telling a customer earlier too. She's like, "Look, I don't mean to be cheap, but this blah blah." Because they're asking for a refund for this and that, you know. I said, "No, no, no, don't worry about that." I said, "My wife and I use this term. We call it being budget conscious." She's like, "Oh my goodness, I love that. Thank you, thank you, thank you." And she goes, "I'm mm -hmm. stealing that." I said, "No, mm -hmm. don't worry about it. It's yours. Mm -hmm. Enjoy." I said, "Spread the word. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with being cheap." I said I don't know why it's gotten such a bad connotation. Why, why is it a why is it a character flaw or whatever to save money? I said I don't understand. I said I'm so proud of my wife. She'll use a coupon on a coupon if we can. I said why not? She was exactly. I said let's get more for our money. Mm -hmm. She goes thank you. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. mm. These are pretty good. The little, mm -hmm. well, what, um, I'm going to read Shaz real quick. Sai, I can't tell because I still like the blood oil, what I grew up on. It is hard to change the oil, the oils that you like, right? Mm -hmm. Or the ones that you grow up on. Lisa said, chosen may is too expensive for my blood. I like homemade if I can't have Hellman's and I can't have Hellman's. Well, again, if you have Costco, they're currently on sale. I don't know what the price is. We don't have a Costco membership anymore. Um, I just haven't renewed any of that. So if if it is, maybe check the price there. But I just find it's quick and easy to just make my own. It takes less than a minute, and it's done. And then we can make it whatever flavor we want for the week. And what's really nice about that, too, is the little machine we have, The uh, what's it called, the immersion blender. It came with a little container and a lid. So we just make it in that and leave it. And it's perfect. Mm -hmm. just, and basically, the only thing we make in it is the mayo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Done. I'm done. Mm -hmm. mm. What about your avocado? I already ate it. Mm -hmm. It's done. Okay. Uh, Matrice said, Chosen is okay. I don't like the Primal Kitchen. Why? Okay. Whew. Mm -mm -mm. Patty said, Homemade, Primal, then Chosen. But Costco here stopped Primal and went to Chosen. Cheapest wins for when I'm not making my own. Right. Whichever is cheap, right? That's how I feel. Oh, and then Lisa said, Dukes. Okay. Yeah. I'll go uh, that. <laughs> 22 Q Cat said, are the ingredients really clean and chosen mayo? I just make my own usually. I go through a lot of it. I don't know. I think chosen is the same as like primal. I think it's just as clean. Mm. But again, it's just so easy. And when you're eating a lot of it, it's easy just to make your own. But let me ask you tonight, which was better, honestly? The, air, the, the deep fry. The blueberry or the shrimp? The shrimp. Oh, you like the shrimp better? Hmm. I think it's because I got more of it. Oh. Well, but I am full. I am too, but I'm going to still eat these. Shada said, um, out here, it's best foods. They did try to make it with avocado oil, but it wasn't good. Oh, oh wow. Wow. They said, growing some jalapenos and red and purple bell peppers. Oh, awesome. Cross your fingers. I don't kill them. Girl, I hope not because I want to see those. Good uh, luck on a sacrifice. 
Yeah, right. Well, you know, the peppers actually do better no in the heat. No but I, I still don't, I don't Those trust that I could do it because I try. I really do try. Even, you know, you get the little air and they're like, oh, you can't kill these things. No, I do. No, I have. Good to help. Penelope to help you. <laughs> right? I I definitely kill kill air plants, everything. And I've tried multiple times throughout my life, and I just can't. I just, I don't have a green thumb. I'm good in the kitchen. Bring it to me, and I'll know what to do with it. But don't get me to growing. Um, Marie said, I'm not good at keeping plants alive either. Right? It's just like, they just don't. They, I can't even keep a plastic plant alive. That's true. Shauna said, but I'm not making sandwiches, so usually a couple tablespoons here and there for a dip or something. So that's true. Yeah, if you're not using tons of it, then it and every single day, then it doesn't matter. Shauna said, official plant hospice at your service. Right. <laughs> right. See, I'm not alone. Lisa said, I was given a few plants in 2020 and they're still alive. That's awesome. I am so proud. That is amazing, Lisa. Wow, way to go. Matre said, I definitely like mustards. Me too. Uh -huh. I do love a really good mustard. Where we at? Well, we went to the Mustard Hall of Fame uh, Museum. I don't remember now. Was it Wisconsin? Possibly. Let me see here. Mustard Museum. Mm -hmm. It said Wisconsin. I guessed right. Middleton, Wisconsin has a mustard museum and it was really good, y'all. Like it was fun and you could taste any of their thousands of mustards. And believe me, I did. I tried a lot. But then we did buy a few of them. But mm -hmm. they they had like and then they would do the mustards from whatever region of the world they came in. So they would have a shelf that was like Italy and then France, actually France had two complete like shelves and then Germany, I think had a couple and then, you know, all the different regions and. I don't even think they had a French or something. Oh. <laughs> French brand, I mean. <laughs> right to try, probably not. Um, Shauna said, I think I have about five different kinds of mustards right now. Nice. Mm. Lisa said, Dijon mustard is my jam these days. Oh, yeah, good Dijon. I, I like a nice uh, textured mustard. Like so like ground. a stone ground. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like the seed in it. Wasabi in it. Oh, yeah. Shauna said, would avocado oil work for frying? I can't remember smoke point. Yeah, avocado oil is great for frying. It has a very high smoke point. But it's just so expensive. That's why I don't like use. Because it's like you, you're going to use almost like a liter to heat up to deep fry something. I don't want to, you know, that's like $10. <laughs> See, I'm so cheap. Mary T said, our climate is perfect for the garden. Sticking hot during the day and blessedly cool nights. Broccoli loves it. See, nice. We actually, going back to the frying the food stuff though. We have a single burner propane, uh, thing that we could do fry it outside on. Uh-huh. I want to do it on the driveway. So if we do have a mess, it'll spill over there. Mm -hmm. But I want to fry stuff like this up in tallow. We can regulate the heat that way with the, the propane flame. Okay. And I just remember I've been wanting to do it and uh we do wings. Oh yeah. Okay. And we have all these big pots and everything. We even have a walk if we need to or whatnot you could cook on there. Yeah well a Dutch oven would work yeah. the best. Yeah. But I think the whole burner is about as big around as this plate. Wow. But then the thing goes in and you know, encapsulates it. So it'll sit on there. And... Nice. Okay. Radical Geek said, but I don't eat a lot of mayo. I find I go into spurts. Right. Depends on what we're making. Yeah. Like we, I'll go into spurts where I want like a lot of mayo on everything. And then suddenly I'm like. something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, like when I have, usually it's when I have my. Uh, Purnell sausage. Mm -hmm. I like it like as a dip for that. But like lately, I've been having a lot of salads. And mm -hmm. for me, let me know what is your go to salad dressing? Are you more of a creamy or vinegar based? Creamy. He's creamy. I'm vinegar. I've always enjoyed a nice vinegar based salad dressing. 
So, and that's so easy to make on, on the fly. So just some vinegar and olive oil or avocado oil or bacon grease and seasonings and you're good to go. Uh, El Strange said, I cooked the kids chicken nuggets in avocado oil. Well, that's good. I bet they turn out good. Uh, she said, I don't think I've had farm fresh butter. I should hit the farmer's market. Yeah, now here, I don't think our farmer's market has it, but there's a dairy farm um, not too far from here, and they have the farm fresh butter. But it's like, I think, is it five dollars a pound or ten dollars a pound it's, they've been doing a special lately where you buy one get one free gallon uh farm fresh uh raw milk, milk. raw milk it's just it's a little it's a little pricey and a little far to get there yeah shauna said um well come on selected it steam stream yard uh, shauna said i'm thankful my grocery outlet has a good price on 100 percent avocado oil well there you That's go awesome. Elstree said powdered sugar would be great, like a funnel cake. Ooh, right. that would be good. True story. The more I do to play with, thank you. Kate said, so what all again is in the shrimp empanada in the filling? So it was, uh, we did two jalapenos. Small one. Yeah, yeah. diced. A um, small, uh, what are they, like hot house tomato? Aren't those like hot house? No, more like aroma. No, that was an aroma. Uh, the Romans are more oblong. Uh, it was tomato on the vine. And then, so a small tomato. And then I did a huge heaping tablespoon of our chili lime seasoning. We did uh, about two ounces of softened cream cheese and then 10 shrimp diced. 11. Oh, it was 11? I, I thought you I ate 12, two. I ate one. Oh, okay. So 11 shrimp diced. And mix that, and then of course some Redmond's real salt. Mixed all of that together until it was like a creamy mixture. Then you also add a little bit of that um, brie to it. I thought, one uh -uh. Of, or no, of the um, cream cheese of that. Yeah, I said two ounces okay. of right. cream cheese. Okay. About two ounces of softened cream cheese. Um, and I just find with the cream cheese, it's just very mellow, so it's not going to overpower. And I feel like it helps it kind of clump together better, which is good for an empanada filling. Yeah. Now, if you're going to just use this to like top, like Rick would said, on something or put it on a salad or something else, then you don't have to do the cream cheese. That I mainly did that to kind of have it bind together better. Uh, Mary T said, I posted butter pics in the hoard today. Nice. Ooh, I'll have to go look. I bought black garlic salt today. Ooh, and they had black garlic paste locally grown and produced. That sounds good. I love a good black garlic. Oh, that's what we could have done tonight, too, though. Yeah. Remember that one from um, from Sarah? Her oh, yeah. Her, hers is good. butter. Sean said, get some Kerrygold butter and you'll be good for St. Patty's Day. <laughs> right? Sean has said, took my mom out to lunch and got a Caesar salad with my burger patty. I sit at home with her. So much lettuce. Laugh out oh, loud. Wow. Oh, wow. Right? I bet there was. <laughs> Rickwood said, uh, I'll have to go look. Have not been on a computer. I was outside. Oh, that's awesome. L. Strange said, Hippie, you should see Max. His hair is almost longer than mine. Wow. Is he doing that by choice? Is it like, you know, is that his teenage way to try out and see if he likes it? Uh, Rickwood said, I never see your shorts in my timeline. I'll have to go looking for them. Yeah, when you go, if you go to Hungry Heath, our YouTube channel, there is actually a tab that'll say shorts. So I think it's like... Oh, it's already? nine already? Wow. You go, like, it's home or for you, and then videos, shorts, and then live. And just go to the shorts tab, and then it's, you go right through and watch all of them. L. Strange says, I usually watch the shorts. Oh, nice. thank you, Lisa. Thank you, thank you, thank you. To ATQ Cats, I always watch your shorts. That's awesome. You got 500 views. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, we're having fun with the shorts. Like, I, 
have you know oh. try to do different things and see i think i'm gonna start doing more of them too why especially when i got on the, the smoker and everything yeah because why not yeah and i've been showing him like when i watch different shorts i'm like see it doesn't because i think for a while we were feeling like a short you had to show the whole process right. and i'm like people don't really do that they I just know, show but i get so mad when i'm watching them and i don't see the finish right and then you never it never links back and you don't ever have a way to go back and find and see the finished product uh, yeah that does suck it's but... annoying it's like watch to me it's like watching part of a show or reading right, part of right. a book right right said gotta love a good head bacon short <laughs> right i'm a completist i guess Gary said, I'm fixing to go travel to the church and start planning and then the food distribution. Wow. Well, have a great weekend, Carrie. Good night. El Strange said, I hope I can find corned beef on clearance later this month. Fingers right? Crossed. Fingers crossed. Right. Me too. I keep watching all of that. I'm like, oh my goodness. Like, so I did two at Aldi last week and they're already in the freezer so we'll be having those because oh my gosh that is just so good and what's crazy too we've smoked them we've baked them and we've done an instant pot of those three ways the instant pot's our favorite yeah it just gets it to the perfect tenderness <laughs> and then what i like about the instant pot is when that's done then you just lift it out and then put the cabbage in and just do that for like five minutes and it's just like the perfect meal Shauna said, I don't really like corned beef, if y'all remember. So I'll bring a KC shake just in case. Right. I get that. I understand. Renee said, just finally getting out of HEB. Wow. So many tourists in the area for big festivals this weekend. Oh, wow. oh my gosh. And I've worked OT every day driving. Oh, oh, wow, Renee. Renee, speaking of like the tourists and stuff like that, is it? Was it worse now on traffic and everything where you're located with the new house versus where you were living in the rental? Right. Is it what's the what's the mixture now? Is it worse? Well, she's or, driving, so I don't know if she'll yeah. answer. Uh Miss K, hey, hey said hi everyone. The empanadas looked good, even Thank though you. they didn't count as you planned. I never made fathead dough as I don't have a microwave. Oh wow. Well, I would think if you could do it up probably over a double boiler, yeah. I would assume that would work. Doing it over a double boiler and then get it to that temperature. I mean, it would take a little bit more time, but I would assume you could do it that way. Tweet TQ Cat said, I'll never apologize for being cheap. Well, frugal sounds better. Yeah, I'm frugal. Laugh out loud. <laughs> right? That's why I love the term budget conscious. Right, right. Because a lot of times, we'll, uh, we'll have like an example, like they'll pay for services. But then, whatever reason, the guys can't do it. Like, um, oh yeah, that would make. So they get a ref They'll need a refund for it, or or there's a big delay on something. So we give them compensation for that. So that's why I'm having to do refunds for that, you know, things. And I was so apologetic about it, and like, oh, I, I know this makes me sound so cheap. I'm like, I'm proud of you. <laughs> Look at all the money you got back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I said I'll wear that with a badge of badge of honor. Right. I, I used to tell folks when I did drink beer, my favorite was free and free light. <laughs> mm -hmm. I I see. I don't mind being cheap or frugal in the things like I, I kind of fall. And let me know if anybody else has read Ramit Sethi's book or seen his Netflix or podcast. I, I figured out by looking, you know, on my past and how I am now, I kind of follow his guideline. Like, the things that I don't really care about, I'm very cheap on. Things mm -hmm. that I don't, I'm I'm not huge into clothes, right? I'm right. obviously not a fashionista. And so I, I'm not going to spend a lot of money on clothes. I'll be like Clark Howard. I'll go get a shirt at Costco, and that's fine with me. That's where he usually gets his shirts. People have been giving him a hard time. Why? They even told, like, you know, how you were told, your shirts are too big. Somebody told him that. He was like, well, I just get a large all the time. And they were like, no, because his right here, the the sleep was, like, down yeah. to here. And, and somebody had told him he was You're he wearing stunk. your big brother's clothes. He stunk because his shirts were too big. And he was like, yeah, you know, they're, they're only, like, $10 and they're comfy. That's exactly what he said. He's like, he just looks for comfort. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But, you know, things like that, I don't care about clothes. I'm not huge into, like, regular decor. Like, I, of course, love my Halloween stuff. Yeah. But 
I don't, I don't have the urge to feel like I need to change my decor with the, the season. Right. Or and, rearrange the house or something. Right. Yeah. Or, um, you know, like when I buy a furniture piece, I buy really good quality so it will last decades. Like the couch in there is at least 20 years old. She's had it longer. She's had me. Yeah. And um, the same with our bed, yeah. the mattress at least. Yeah. So those things, like on some things, I don't care about. I like, I want to find the cheapest possible price for it. But on things that I do like, like travel, yes, hotels and food, yeah, a hotel. Then, I include that under I travel. I think on food too, there's kind of a caveat also. A lot of that stuff we're not really brand loyal, like say right. the mustards and stuff. Yeah. We'll buy the stuff at Aldi, the off brand, their version of French's or whatever, or their. Yeah, yeah. But like with my um sodas, I get the Rockstar only because they're the it's cheapest. The cheapest. They right, that's to me, true. They taste the same as the, all the other ones. Right, and like or with the couple of these that like um and um the one uh, Sprouts or Aldi, their version. Yeah. They're cheaper. Yeah, and the same yeah. thing like with my sparkling water. You know, like when Topo went so expensive, I was like, I just uh, that just is too high yeah. in my opinion. So yeah, when I've gotten almost a year's supply of these for what a nickel a drink, like with my Zevia, I'm brand loyal to them because there's no off-brand version of Zevia. Right. Um, but so that's Ramit Sethi's thing yeah. is whatever you find joy in or that you like, then that's where you focus your money on. So like for us, the really big thing is number one is travel. Yeah. So when we travel, we like to be able to go on a trip and do what we want and not worry, you know, so much about the price tag. So if we're traveling, then yeah, we'll go out to eat. And if we're going to a really nice steakhouse, then so be it. I want to be able to do that or stay at a nice hotel if we want that meets all of our needs. Like I don't want to have to budget that in and go, well, we're going to have to stay at, you know, the do drop in. But one thing I was got as you tell them how excited I got the other night when we were planning looking at all the different restaurants we go to, especially in the evenings and stuff like that. I was like, you know what? On this, there's no real in the area we're going to, we're gonna need to stop. There's no restaurants that really reached out to me. And I just had a uh, you, like a uh, euphoric, not what you call it, a, a light bulb moment that just went off. I was like, wait a minute. There's Kroger's there, right? Oh yeah, this is on our trip home. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna have to stop and get gas. We can get points, use our points when we get in the gas. We're already gonna be there. Then we'll knock out a couple of things at once. We'll get gas, we'll use the bathroom because it'll always be cleaner than like a um uh, gas, station. A gas station. And we'll just go hit up the deli and get a meat and cheese tray or get some from the deli, make our own. And we'll yeah. eat on that while we're driving. Yeah, and for like a lunch. Yeah, and then we'll be having to bring some pork rinds with us. So that'll end up being cheaper too. Yeah, yeah, I guess we were thinking on the drive home in case we end up meeting somebody yeah. between Columbus and Springfield, then yeah, but otherwise, yeah, we were like, Why yeah, not? we could do that. But I I feel like I guess when I say travel, I'm saying like cuz um some of the hotels you were like, "Oh, well, let's let's, you know, see which one is cheaper." And I'm like, "You know, but I kind of like this one because of X, Y, Z. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And you were Some creature just, comforts. Right. That makes right. sense. Because I was looking at some of the bougie hotels yeah. in downtown Columbus, but a lot of it was the pain, dog issues. The dogs and paying for parking, or they only yeah. get allowed ballet. Right, which that doesn't bother me it's, either. Well, I mean, the ballet is nice, but I just... It just seems like they go overboard nickel and diamond. Yeah, because I was... annoying to me. I was telling him, I said, look, I like... There was a, a really nice hotel was, downtown. Was, I, I think it was called, land, if, if Matre and Sharon are still here, I think it was called the Westin, but like the inside was just this Imagine. huge white marble area. Um, Who that? I don't, let's see. Oh, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Somebody was just responding and, and it was beautiful, right? And I was like, but you know what? It's going to be our vacation. I don't care about the price. But then I was telling him, I said, so parking, I think it was either 35 or 45 a day. Okay, that's fine. And I was like, but then, you know, they're not going to include any breakfast. Right. And no free water. 
right bottles of water some of the restaurants some of the ICs give you free uh, bottles of water yeah I would check in yeah um and you know and I was like and then you know you wouldn't have this or that and I was like so you know no uh kitchenette in the room right it's like a posh room and then they they do offer room service but that's at a charge yeah. that's an right. extra and I was like so Really do you want to do that? Well, not cost effective. I'm yeah. like, do you want to do that? Or do you like staying like at the stay bridge where they're going to have a free breakfast, a hot breakfast, and then we'll have a kitchenette in our room. So when it comes to doing the live on Friday night, you know, we can still do it in the hotel room and cook for everyone. What would you rather do? And that's when he was like, no, let's, let's just go ahead and and stay at the state bridge because it would have all those things. You no, know, the amenities that we actually like. Yeah. Well, not necessarily we like, but we could make better use of. Right. And and again, I but you know, I told him, I said, you know, we're gonna be going out to eat for lunch and dinner almost every single day, and I'm okay with that. Uh -huh. Like I, I I'm not so if you are meeting us or something, don't be like, oh, I don't know, Shelly. If you'd want to eat at the steakhouse yes, at please. dinner, like, yeah, we do. We do. Yes. Miss K said, like a double broiler or just putting a pot so it looks good. Yeah, I would think either of those would work. I um, The That's pot, like you would have to be watching and just make sure you stir it so it don't burn. But a double boiler, I think, would work better. Um, because it, you would do it before we had microwaves. Right, right, exactly. That would mimic how it would have been done before that. Um, and then, yeah, you could do it that way and then roll it out from there. And it might even work better if in right. a double boiler than the microwave, you know, because it would slowly heat it up. So it might be a better method overall. Right. You'll have to do it and let us know. Please, and post pictures in the group. And Miss K said, oh, interesting. I'll have to see what I can devise. Thanks for the advice. Oh, you're welcome. I saw Shauna and Rick when we're helping too. Shauna said, oh, dear, 652 here. I work at 9. Good thing we're all here tonight. That's right. Oh, and then she said, oh, I wonder what a little round mustard would be in my keto chow baked potato drop biscuits. Ooh, Ooh I think that would go good. Report back, please. I'm going to hear about that. Laura said horseradish mustard is yes. my favorite. Ooh, yes. I love horseradish anything. So, yeah, horseradish mustard. Mm. Horseradish on its own, horseradish cheese. Like, give me all the horseradish. I got an idea, too. Okay. Well, we use that towel underneath it, right? Yeah. And then carry it outside and dust it out in the yard or the driveway or whatever. Yeah, that would that Instead be good. of trying to do it in the trash can and getting all over the floor and everything. Yeah, let's let's do it that way. Because yeah. I see there's still, you can see there's oil, yeah. like, stuck to the, not stuck, but, you know, it hasn't dripped. Right. Well, maybe flip that upside down. Will, will well, it even help? No, it's okay. like under there. Right. Anyway, Shauna said, I go back and forth lately. My fave is chosen foods, apple cider vinaigrette. Oh. See, I have not seen that, but that no. sounds really good. Oh, Lisa said vinegars. Mm-hmm. 20 TQ Cat said, creamy salad dressing for me, please. That's Heath. He loves. What's your favorite salad dressing? It's also, honestly, it is especially pre-keto, it's a toss-up between Thousand Island uh -huh. and honey mustard. Yeah, I always thought honey mustard was your favorite. It's one of. But honestly, on those, it, they're hit or miss. It depends on the brands. But uh -huh. I don't have a favorite that I remember offhand now, though, either. Marie said, I like a good ranch or balsamic vinaigrette. See, I like mm. ranch, but I don't like it as a salad dressing. I like it on other stuff. Yeah, I've never been a ranch fan. I know that's like some of you are like, what? What is wrong with you, Shelly? I've just never cared for ranch. And pre keto, I didn't like blue cheese dressing. I know. And now he does, y'all. See, okay. I was always a blue cheese person. And I feel like that's what it comes down to. You either like ranch or you like blue cheese. Because, like, if you're to go to like those uh, wing places and like that, yeah. and you have a dipping sauce, you would always get the blue cheese versus the ranch. Yeah. I Nine times out of ten, that's what we get. Yeah. I much prefer blue cheese. I've always been a blue cheese mm -hmm. fan. So if I have a creamy salad dressing, it's blue cheese. Um, if if um, otherwise, yeah, then I want a vinaigrette. But sometimes, you know, when you go out to dinner, some of those vinaigrettes are really sweet. Right. 
So I'll either, I'll just, and I know it has inflammatory oils, but I'll be like, just give me the blue cheese. Cause generally speaking, that's going to be a better option. Mm -hmm. Or if it's a nicer place, I might be able to get just oil that's and vinegar, but I have to, and make your own. but I have to ask, yeah. you know, what is the oil? Cause they bring it to you in the little, uh, the, little the container. Thing, yeah. The little duo uh, hanger thing. And you mix your own. Those are really her favorite. Well, yeah, but again, you have to check because yeah. some of these places they'll Still be like use, they refill it with stuff, <laughs> canola oil right. or something right. or some kind of blend. And I'm like, no, it has to be pure olive oil. We've even been we have even been known to bring our own. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, Mary T said, "Creamy all the way." I make mayo so I can make ranch and coleslaw dressing. And another thing we do a lot of times, we'll bring there little containers, go. containers like this. Yeah. Like when we know we're going to order a sweet potato at the steakhouse, oh, yeah. we'll bring our own butter and the square of brown sugar to add to it, and nuts, and then yeah, add walnuts or pecans to it as and well, and just bring it, and ourselves. it ourselves. Uh, Mary T said, "Shelly, I pay sixteen dollars a pound for my butter." Wow. Wouldn't it be great Six, if it was five? Oh my gosh. Earlier, yeah. y'all, we lost Rosie, our little uh, vacuum. Uh, she just straight up disappeared. It was crazy, too, because last night I shut all the doors. I didn't shut our door, though. And I think your office is still open. Uh, but yeah, now. so it must be $10 here. That just seems so high to me. But 16 that's crazy. Oh my gosh. Mary T said, I don't mind paying what I pay. A pound lasts me the better part of a month. Wow. So not bad in the grand scheme of things. That's true. If you're averaging $16 a month for butter, that's pretty good. Tweety Cat said, I eat a lot of butter. I'm not sure that would change if I was paying $16. I'm sure that would change if I was paying $16 a pound. Right. That's me. I, I eat lots of, like, I go through probably a pound of butter a week. Yes. <laughs> we eat butter on everything. Rick Wood said, it's time for Cinderella to take her coach to bed. Oh, wow. Horde mates, have a great weekend. See you Sunday. Good night, Rick Good Wood. Night. Have a great weekend. And then Renee said, uh, no traffic, not worse, as I'm still driving the same route. Just 23 minutes of the route versus 38, but big festival of Rockport and spring break going oh, on. So nuts, even all the way through Corpus. Oh, wow. Right. Because I remember. It's a lot of out of towners. Well, yeah, because you remember in high school, it was huh. a big thing to go to Corpus for spring right. break. That was the thing to do. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, Enjoy. 20, 22Q Cat said, that's just it. We all have our priorities of what we want to spend money on. I say I'm frugal, but I currently have a whole pantry of, full of keto chow uh -huh. money, so I can't be that cheap. Right. So you ch picked what you want to spend, which is what Ramit Sethi says. You pick the things that you want to splurge on. So like his is also, look, it's one of those uh, uh, mosquito, mosquito hawks. That's what he says. Travel is one of his. He's like, you know, if he's going to fly anywhere that is over four hours, it, that's his rule. If it's an over four hour flight, he's going business class. And, you know, and, and then, yeah, whenever they travel, they stay at the top hotels. Like, Flute. yeah, high flute. How the other half lives. But I feel that's kind of like my thing, too. Like, that's. Yeah, I feel like if we're going to fly to Europe, I kind of want to go first class or business. Because honestly, truth be told, that's what led up to this road trip uh, extravaganza. Is we were pricing out going next year to Europe, but then looking at the prices for first class versus business or um, standard. Business versus economy. Economy, yeah. And then all of the yeah. other stuff. I right. was just like... I just let's save for it. Yeah. And like I told one of my coworkers that lives in Columbus and she was like, Oh, are you going on a cruise? You know, because basically the last two years I went on a cruise. She goes, What cruise are you going on this year? She goes, because normally she goes on one too. And but she's she's not this year because she's gonna fly to Utah to visit her family. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no cruise. We're having a savings year. Right. And she was just like, Oh, well, I can't have one of those. Ah. Okay. It's going to hurt. It's going to be different. We've gone on everything ever since we've been together. We've gone on a, at least one cruise a year. 
well, yeah, except for a couple of years during COVID. Oh, yeah. And the year after. Right. Uh, Mary T said, I like Roquefort like a milder blue. It's hard to find. Yeah. I, oh, that is a good cheese, too. I don't remember if I've ever had that. But I'm yeah, not we've had it. it. We've had it. Um, Marie said Hidden Valley is not a good ranch. No, okay, I don't know. No, it's not. Uh, there's a brand out there called Wild Coyote that is oh. good. Oh, I've never seen that is brand. It clean? Wow, that sounds good, but probably not for not ranch. Maybe if they had a blue cheese. But I'm the same way with blue cheese because I remember before when we'd buy store bought blue cheese, there were certain ones that I was like, no, that is not good. I like the kids chunky. I got an idea. So I was going to clean up a bunch of my uh, little recipes on my list. I have one for seasoning for making ranch. Oh, yeah. I see about taking some of the key for cheese and adding that to it and making my ranch that way. Yeah, we've done that before. I don't remember doing it, but I'm going to do it soon. It'll be good. And then, um, oh, Mary said, I flew business to Houston. It was so great. Isn't it yes. nice? It is like when I've been able to fly business, it is such a different experience. And again, I always shop around and I always try to, and I think it helps because generally when we go on vacation, it's off season. So I am fine with traveling, if there's somewhere I want to go to, I am fine traveling off season because one, the hotels are going to be cheaper. The airfare is going to be cheaper. Only thing we have to keep in mind when we're doing that though, is if there's any special attractions we want to go to, we have to check first to make sure they're actually going to be open because it's off season. Well, yeah, that's true. And then we have to adjust for that, but it's yeah. very rare that they, that uh, is a, a negative against our plans. Right. Right. Yeah. Because, um, you know, sometimes when you, like I would have thought before of going to Vegas on my birthday in January, but that's when they have like a huge convention. I won't mention what it is because it's not appropriate, right. but they have a huge one. They do it the, after dark though. The week of my birthday every year. And so you. everything, oh, I hope not. That's <laughs> not a good celebration. But everything is then way up price because I was like, why are they so high to fly to Vegas there? Why are the hotels so expensive? And then I. Can. And then I found out why. And I was like, well, probably better we don't show up. <laughs> but honestly, we've been, what, three times? Yeah, we're done. I have no desire to go back, honestly. There's, there's nothing there for me anymore. Yeah. Mm -mm. Been there, done that. Right. Mary T said, time for some trash TV. And then, yes. Ben, have a great yes. weekend, all. Have a good weekend, Mary. Junk food TV is what I call it. That's awesome, though. Renee said, I like the Bolt House Cilantro Avocado Ranch. Ooh. Well, I've never heard that. Nice. I've heard of Bolt House. Huh. Yeah, I think they're a good brand too, but nice. I haven't seen the Cilantro Avocado Ranch. That's awesome. That sounds good. Caden says, I make my own butter mayo, triple batch. Ooh. And then use some of it to make ranch dressing. Um, Chris Cookie Nash style fam loves it. Oh, I bet they do. I got, I got a little question for you. I don't know why I just can't even do now. What goes on a Cuban sandwich? What all meats? I don't remember. Uh, it's usually pork. I know, but I know, but it's also a sliced ham on something else, though. Or is it pulled pork? I thought I thought a Cuban was pulled pork. Um, let's see mm -hmm. here. Cuban sandwich. The reason why I'm asking is because I'm fixing to smoke that pork loin. Oh, oh, no. It's a variation of ham and cheese sandwich. Uh -huh. uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, uh, uh. A main ingredients. Cuban bread, ham, roasted pork, Swiss cheese, pickles, and mustard. Okay. All right, then. So I was about doing that with the chopper, though. Oh, yeah. With that pork one. Yeah. But, Caden, that sounds really good. I do love a good butter mayo. Marie says, Wild Coyote has blue cheese also. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, Where do they have it at? Where are you buying it? Because, you know, she didn't go to Sprouts. She mostly, I thought, um, Renee mostly shops no, at. No, this um, is Marie. Oh, my bad. I don't know why, but I thought she brought it up. My bad. Mm -mm. No, uh, Renee brought up Bolt House. Oh, Marie said up. Wild Coyote. Yeah, that's what it is. So I'll have to check and see if the Wild where do you, Coyote. Where do you find it, though? What store are you getting it at? What store? Like I'm gonna pull up Kroger right now. Let's see if they have it. I'm going to a different Kroger tomorrow, so we'll yeah, see um, Ooh, how that Kroger is because uh, their uh, the uh, markdown uh, veggies too. Well, yeah, I always do that. 
But I'm, I'm so I'm, the plan is to go to the farmer's market in Tomball and then right over there. Oh, no, not at Kroger. And then right over there, there's a Kroger, like not even a mile away. So I'm going to hit that Kroger. And then I got to go to Sam's to pick up somebody Zevia because I never do anything for him. Well, at least you're breaking that habit. Oh, yeah? Uh -huh, finally. Oh, my gosh. Ten years later. Let's see. H-E-B. No, not at H-E-B either. Target. Man. Walmart. <sighs> I, mean, I don't know. Shauna said, at college, I worked at a Foster Freeze after making blue cheese dressing in five-gallon buckets. I'll pass. Right? Oh. That, that's, yeah. That's, that's, that's that would TV. make you pass. Yeah. P PTSD on that. Yeah. Marie not said, it may be regional. I'm oh. out in Utah. Oh, well, let's see if we can bring up wild. Because I, I follow it too. I, I, I'll do that. And you go to the website. And it'll show you where you can oh. buy it in your area. Oh, it's a it's a ranch out there too. Wild Coyote Ranch. Um, let's see if I put in. Dressing? Yeah, maybe salad dressing. Salad dress. Oh, there it is. What's this? Um, oh, look, Renee found it. Also found on Walmart's site, too. And no, Safeway. Oh, and she found it at a Kroger. So maybe it's just See, the Kroger here. We don't have a Safeway, though. Yeah, we don't what have What is it Safeway. now, though? Wait, maybe we do. Because aren't they the same company as uh, uh, Randall's? Because yeah. Randall's are starting to come back. Uh, let's see. Products. So I know a lot of companies will do that though. They'll put their like where to find in your area. Yeah, that's what I'm looking yeah. for. Oh, they have a cilantro lime ranch. Oh, nice. Also, Randall's and Albertson. No Albertsons here. Yo, oh, they, they all even have salsas, salsas as well. Oh wow. Huh. Okay. Let me try about us. Most of well, the times when you find that, though, they'll be like at the top of the page. That's what's weird. Yeah, no, and they don't have that. Well, that means they don't want you buying their product. That's all it tells me. Well, oh, and yeah, here's their blue cheese. No? Huh. Wow, you buy a whole gallon of it. You see that now, too, y'all? No, they don't see this. No, no, no. I posted it a, a couple of days ago when I found out about it. Y'all know how we're big fans of the Hotline Pepper products? They now have the, the garlicky gringo in the gallon jug. Oh, right. That's amazing. I'm fading. All right. I'm clean up. Um, so, yeah, at least it's over there by Renee. Um, I could, and I only know one Randall's on this side of town. I don't know. Um, like I said, they're slowly coming back, and we don't really frequent them. So yeah, yeah, um, and we, I don't go to Walmart, but Heath might go. Well, check see if Sam's has it. This is the same. Company. Oh yeah. Well, I'll check later. Let's let's talk to everybody right. and finish up since I know it's getting late. Yeah, it's almost nine thirty, and Heath has to get up for work. And I still got chores to do around here before I go to bed. That's right. You got to clean up all this mess. And, uh, but I, I feel like overall, what? So how are we doing next week in the air fryer? Next Friday? Um, uh, yeah, I think so. I'm deep fat fry those. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're just like done with, <laughs> with, with deep fat frying? For a while, yeah. I mean, uh, we stopped doing it when we went keto, so we're out of touch with it. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh. I wonder though. I wonder how oh, right. They've had the gallon on garlicky gringo. I bought it over a year ago. Oh, really? Okay. I've never yeah. knew it before. I know they had the big jars, the giant jars. almost like the mayonnaise jar, but I didn't know they had the gallon of it. Yeah, I thought so. I didn't know that. Or maybe now he's just now really... Uh, Pimping it? Yeah. But thanks for the heads up. Yeah. So, uh, what I was about to say something, but now I forgot. Oh, I'm well. Sorry. So, yeah, it's... This is exciting. Next Friday, that'll be a good recipe, I think. Well, it's not going to be any life shattering. I'm just wondering, though. Now it's going to be one uh, when we make, if we can do these again, but do them in the uh, Big Easy, how they would turn out. I don't know. 
It's worth trying one day. Not on a live, but just trying it. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I feel like it might end up the same as the air fryer, yeah. right? Maybe we just don't do a big batch. <laughs> so if it doesn't turn out, then we're not I'm messing up all of them. <laughs> Right. Like we're doing something else in there too, like throw some wings in there or something and just throw a couple of those also. I Well, to me, I think the challenge with the fat head dough is you have to have the temperature just right when you go to fry it. Yeah. Because that's also the thing, you know, with, I think also part of the issue with the air fryer is you probably needed to preheat the air fryer first. Ah, so that when you slipped true. them in, it was already hot in there. Because if it if the temperature is too cold, if it, it's just the fat head dough is just gonna start melting again. The fat head dough I think works best for making pizzas. Yeah, for baking. And kolaches and we're baking them. Right, right. So they turn out perfect for that. Well, this turned out really good frying, yeah. and the ones I made last week yeah. turned out really good being fried. Yeah. But again, it's just you have to have the oil. Just where it's in. right where it's hot enough but not too hot but if it's too cold like the one that exploded is because the temperature dropped too far it. and it just started melting in there and that's why it fell apart because once it melts then all of the insides come out yeah but that would be my tip if you're going to use the fat head dough to do some type of deep fry just make sure the deep fry is ready. And again, it worked perfect on our stove. Yes. That worked well. But yeah, the hot plate. We can plate, regulate the fire. Yeah. Fire. I why. think if we got uh, eventually a nicer hot plate where it had the temperature regulation more dialed in, mm -hmm. then that would work. I think the this one is kind of like, a, well, at least you got a hot plate, right? right. It's like an entry level. I wonder too. We still have the, the manual on it. I wonder if we read about it. There's some. I wonder if it's user error. No, it's just you see the dial. That's all there is to it. Yeah, it's just a dial, and even where it says minimum, that's off because there's no off button. If you turn it all the way to min, it just turns off. So, yeah, but I and I think it. Um, oh, it's I think all it was the application. Simple. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But that's okay. I'm glad you all stuck with us, Thank and you. I hope you enjoyed this Friday night as much as we did. And like I said, I'm going to start working on probably Sunday. I'm going to start working on trying to get the tripod. Only thing, only problem with that, though, I just thought about it. I want to put it on the tripod so we can spin it back and forth. But the only thing we're going to have to deal with is the power supply to it. I don't want to trip over the cord. Yeah. that no. Well, that's kind of the issue now. Right. Well, as long as I'm with moving it. But where it's set up, the cord's out of the way. Yeah. But once we start moving it, that's the issue, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Well, thank you so much for a wonderful yes, Friday thank you, thank night. You, thank we so appreciate y'all. Thanks so much for coming here. Please make sure Sunday. you give us a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't already, and make sure to check and make sure you're subscribed. And we will see y'all uh, definitely next Friday, but probably a lot of you on Saturday night's Coffee Talk with Matreya Sunday. Sunday, 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 Sunday. Coffee Talk with Matreya Radical Geek at 5.30 Central, 6.30 Eastern. So we'll see y'all there. But everybody have a happy Good weekend. Night. We love you. And channel members, remember, by the end of day Sunday, that means midnight, you should be getting the invite for next Saturday's cook along. Good night, everyone. Bye. Bye.